Let's continue our journey in Pokemon Crystal Clear. So what we did yesterday is uh, we started off with our little friend Bulby here. We went ahead and uh, to honor the 50 subs that Cookie dropped, uh, we got a shiny Clefairy named Microwave and evolved it into Shiny Clefable. His oven. And uh, we also got Channel of Sonic, DJ's pick, uh, the, Va the Vaporeon. We also uh, got this Tyranitar named Tatro, which is why it's blue, because the nickname palette's in Crystal Clear. Uh, it's pretty cool. You name Pokemon with certain uh, DV certain things, and they change their uh, color. Pretty neat. He's our, uh, he's our uh, dedicated catcher. He's got False Swipe. Then we got Pygmus, who's an HM friend. And then Shadow Lugia. Who is also an HM friend. We caught a couple other legendaries as well to take advantage of the fact that they're level 5. But the first thing we are going to do is run on over to Goldenrod City. Which is big excited. I'm very excited for this. Unfortunately, I don't think they're here yet, but I'm sure they will be here soon. We go into the department store in Goldenrod City and head down to the basement. What's up, young stuffy? I'm doing well, man. I'm really excited to play some Crystal Clear today. Hop on down here. And we are going to go uh, even lower into the trainer customization station because you want to change yourself. So if you don't like the character that you selected in the intro uh, that you started the game with, you can change it uh, at any time for any reason. And a cool thing is you can inject your own sprites and your own trainers and lima green was nice enough to make a stelmo sprite <laughs> which is super cool i love how it looks i mean i basically already look like gold so uh most of the poses and stuff are just reshaded or reskinned or anything but i absolutely love it um and am going to be using it for the remainder of this playthrough and probably all future playthroughs let's be honest of uh crystal clear so how do i um I don't remember how to do things. Okay. So I want to probably change my skin tone a bit here because it's just using the default colors. Uh, it's probably that and then color. We'll go ahead and be gray. Oh, okay. Maybe not that dark. Do maybe that. I'm like an old man. Name it Bonzo and let it follow you. Mm. If you uh, gift 10 subs, I'd be more than happy to, GJ. <laughs> All right, let's save those changes and change myself here. Intrinsic field generator. <sighs> Sounds very painful, but I'm glad we don't have to go through it. And Bulby is surprised, but let's do it, man. I now get to be myself in this Pokemon journey and I don't know what's better than that. It's so cool. So, huge shout outs once again to Lima Green for creating this custom sprite. It's it's so neat. So neat. All right, let's uh, start this journey proper. So, I need to see how many Pokeballs I have. I'm very low. How many subs to release Bulby? A hundred. Easy. That's an easy question. <laughs> because then we'll have to immediately replace him with something else. All right. Um, or her, I should say. So I want to catch the other two legendary birds today. Because uh, we did catch Moltres yesterday. And the other two legendary birds are the last birds other than Celebi. But the thing is that Celebi has a little bit... If you don't collect any gym badges... Um, the Celebi quest line, because some of the legendaries have different quest lines. Um, they have, uh, like, there's a, there's a battle that you have to do if you don't have any gym badges again, uh, to get to Celebi, and it's kind of hard at our current state, so, uh, we're not gonna be catching Celebi, we're waiting to do that, because one of my goals for this playthrough is to collect all 251 Pokemon, because that's possible in this. Yeah, I got a Shadow Lugia, Pablo. It's a very cool Easter egg. Um, we're catching Lugia, but we were also able to catch a normal Lugia as well. Um, but that'll be later. Where do I want to go? So, I need to get money. The Nugget Bur <laughs> Brigade is always a nice option. I am trying to hold off on fighting gyms because if you actually do fight gyms before like doing a whole bunch of stuff in this game, it makes a lot of things like money basically becomes a non-issue 
and like just a bunch of other stuff becomes very much a non-issue once you're able to actually like just grind for money and stuff because a very cool thing is that we can actually uh, re-challenge gyms and you can re-challenge them as many times as you want and you can challenge them at a higher difficulty um, depending on how many badges you have. So there are 16 different sets for the 16 gym leaders, which means there's 256 different teams that you can fight against against every uh, gym leader at your leisure. You named uh, XD's Nuts? No, he is called XD001. You actually can't. If you do the quest to get Shadalugia, you can't uh, nickname him. <laughs> it's so cool. I love the sprite. I love the sprite. Lima did such a good job on it. Alright, so, uh, like I said yesterday, the world also scales around us for badges, so all of the trainers are super weak, which means we're basically just gonna obliterate the Nugget Brigade here. As we collect some Mulan, get another Nugget to buy more Pokeballs. I'm trying to remember, I think we should be able to get a couple level balls from it. Enough to catch, uh, Moltres and Zapdos, probably. Oh, nice star. What's up, Matios? I feel like it's also kind of good to start with a bit of a grind, so that way uh, people have the chance to come in before we start doing any of the crazy stuff that Crystal Clear has to offer. So, Google Cheese, for three subs, you get to uh, choose the Pokemon and um, and name them. But I will choose whether or not we use it on the team. It's guaranteed to be on the team at 10 subs. Also, how are you doing today? Welcome to the stream. I'm using Try Attack over Surf because the animation's faster. <laughs> I could turn the animations off for this particular grind, but it's fun to see the moves get used. Go. Oh. Uh, well, we definitely want to use Tri-Attack here. I just need Mindless Nothing. Well, if you want Mindless Nothing, the Stelmo Show <laughs> is is the place for you. Let me tell you, glad to have you here. That's not the best advertising, but it's still advertising, isn't it? <laughs> if you... If you want to come on to Twitch and watch a stream that's at best meh, perfect. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. <laughs> Never claimed to be a good advertiser. I haven't gotten to that uh, part of the business yet. <laughs> My stream is mindless. Well, currently it kind of is. We're fighting Pokemon that we've already fought, I think, five times. This is our sixth time through the Nugget Brigade. And it's just to get money. This could be e easily circumvented by fighting a gym leader, and then we could just refight that gym leader over and over again uh, with the amulet coin and get money a lot faster. But I do want to keep it here because if we keep it here, then the legendaries we're going to catch will only be level five. So, I don't want to fight any gym leaders yet. Now, once we have the legendaries, we're going to fight uh, some gym leaders. Hey, what's up, Surge? How you doing? I wonder if you have an item on you. Oh my goodness! Oh no, it didn't have an item. That's just part of the animation. Okay. Uh, sometimes just random Pokemon can have uh, items on them, so... Always good to check. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Hello, Glizznorp. Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you know, it's kind of annoying me just a little bit that uh, Lugia, if you look on the party, the party screen, which is to the upper left of your guys' screen, uh, the Swinub and Lugia are not directly in the center. Uh, they're like one pixel off of being in the center, and it's kind of bugging me. I played Sonic Speed Simulator one time. Played it for like three days and then got really bored and then just stopped. Yeah. That's where I'm at with that. 
Okay. Do, 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 do. We'll probably be also, we will pr also probably be doing something here in Cerulean City. Well, not Cerulean City, but... Really? Yeah. I mean, I feel like you truly haven't lived as a gamer if you haven't played Roblox, you know? It's it's part of your journey. Oh my god, a div Glisnor! And sometimes other games? Well, yes, because as a Sonic fan, you can only play Sonic games, or else you're you're doing a disservice to your Lloyd and Savior if you've ever played anything else. Yo, what's up, Marcy? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Thankfully, Thief is actually a special move. Uh, if you don't know, up until Generation 3, uh, Generation 4 was when the physical special split where uh, a move was physical or special based on what the move actually was. Prior to Generation 4, which was Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum, uh, I guess Heart, Gold, and Soul, Silver, too, uh, move be a move being physical or special was determined by its typing. So, regardless of what the move looks like, it will be physical or special. Probably the craziest thing is that the ghost type is physical. And all of the ghost types in the game are special-based Pokémon, so it's a bit awkward there. Speaking of Gen 4, I think we got the 8-bit Gen 4 music going on in the background right now. Oh, I also want to go get another item today. I just remembered. Do I have to refight this? Yeah, I'm talking about uh, in in the context of Generation 2. They were like, oh shit, we don't have a... <laughs> we don't have a physical ghost type. Which, I feel like ghost types being physical should have just been a thing from the start anyway. Like, Haunter's got hands, you know? And obviously that would be a direct counter to the Psychic type. Why they were Ghost and Poison? I don't know, whoever playtested Gen 1 was like, let's just give them a, the Psychic types and let them run through the entire game. <laughs> Even though I think the speedrun for Gen 1 uses Nido King. Yeah, you got Mistrevis. And then Ghastly Haunter and Gengar. <laughs> you got anything on you, pal? Oh my gosh. They pass through things selectively. Uh, okay, we didn't need to go to Bill's Garden anyway, so we're just gonna run back down. I've never played Sonic in the Black Knight, no. It's sitting up on the shelf, though, if we get to 500 concurrent subs. Which, we're, uh, almost halfway there. You and YouTube been named? No, they haven't even been collected yet. Um, also, like, I can do repeat catches. So... I will not rename a Pokémon, but I will catch another of the Pokemon. Well, they'll be captured in a way, yeah. Um... Alright, see you, Surge. Thanks for stopping in. What was I doing? Okay, I have the nugget now. I need to go sell it and go to Azalea Town by Level Balls. And then... I think before we go to Zapdos and Articuno, I am going to do a quick sidetrack to go get an item that I want to grab. I don't actually need the Sacred Ash. The Sacred Ash is like a super good item, but you don't actually ever need it. Also, I don't need this. More moolah. I also don't really need this either. Keep the rare candies though, just in case. Ocean don't need. Unfortunately, all the Pokemarts are kind of poop right now because I don't have any gym badges, but they get much better once you start collecting stuff. But this also does keep sort of the Generation 2 thing where different marts have different things. Uh, like the Azalea Town Pokemart, actually, where we're headed to right now, uh, has... What is it? Uh, has Super Repels. 
Bag Master Ball Sprite? Thanks. That's one of the custom bags that you can select between. Right. Talk to our boy here. I'm kind of surprised that he says the same thing every single time. Let's see. I think... Might as well buy them all. 20 level balls. We got two legendaries to catch, so... It'll be good. Um... I want to go to... Cherry Grove City? Yes. Cherry Grove City. So there's a new area to the left of Cherry Grove City called Cherry Grove Bay. And that is where we're going to head. But first we're going to talk to this person. I saw something. A person dressed in yellow with a fishing rod. Quite right the dense trees I'm looking at. Is there a path hidden there? Well, let's take a look. Ah, there's a hidden path. Oh, look at that. It's not just Al Forest. Another hidden path here. I'm gonna go ahead and use a super repel, even though I do think the wild encounters are a little bit higher. Level here, but um, yeah, let's see. So now we're here. Go ahead and go into this house. Who's this guy? Hey, diddly doodly. Who are you, Dilly? Doom. Oh, this is Shock Slayer's house. Nice. Oh, the creator, the lead developer of Crystal Clear. Uh, I don't need to talk to that. Hey, what's up, Lima? Showing off your sprite. Thank you again so much for that. So cool. All right, let's head into a new area, Cherry Grove Cave. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of different music. There's Mega Man music, there's Zelda music, there's some other music that we'll be seeing later as well. It's super cool. There's tons of 8-bit remixes of a bunch of different stuff. Um, alright. So in Cherry Grove Cave, I want to head this direction. Yes, this is the way I want to go. And then down here, is this correct? Yes, this is correct. And in here. All right, and we'll see up here, there is a caved in wall. I'm gonna click on it. His entrance is caved in. Pokemon move might make the cave in worse. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. So let's, uh, let's keep looking around, see if we can find something here. Thankfully, uh, because of what we picked up last time, and we don't need badges to use HMs, we got uh, Lugia here to help us surf in Waterfall, which is nice. Calcium! I gotta build those strong bones. So many hidden items. Bigger strength? Well, it said a Pokemon move might make it worse. But we definitely don't want to do that. Uh-oh. This might be kind of a strong Pokemon. 24? That's pretty... <laughs> That's pretty beefy. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and switch to Bulby, because Bulby has the smoke ball. Lugia gonna make everything easy? A level 5 Lugia? I don't know. A shiny? Who's shiny? Oh yeah, Clefable's shiny, that's right. I'm gonna actually switch Bulby to the front now, because it has the smoke ball. Yep, we uh, shiny hunted for a cookie yesterday. Oh my god. Um, so, I guess I'll talk about how the top three team members on our team, the top three are actual team members, and then the bottom three are utility Pokemon, so I want to use the actual team members for, like, fighting stuff and, like, traversal and things. Why is there a strength holder here? Oh? This, I didn't actually know about. This is new to me. Ooh! I gotta go check this out. Hold on. Ah. Wait. Interesting. Hello, Meryl. Pokemon are kind of strong here. 
I'm gonna go ahead just for the sake of being able to move around without being encumbered by wild encounters. Switch, uh, Atro to the front. I know for how much time, not that much because we use speed up. Um, there's also tools in Pokemon Crystal Clear that allow you to make finding shinies easier. Not guaranteed, it's still a 1 in 648 at best odds, but it's certainly a lot easier. Oh! I didn't know this connected to Alf Forest. That's really cool. This was an area we explored yesterday. Now, this is something... Union Cave? Wait, when did I get to Union Cave? That's really neat. I didn't know this was part of Union Cave. I thought this was part of Cherry Grove Cave. Cool, cool stuff. Oh, I see. So I guess Union Cave... Uh, so I have played this hack before for anybody who's new today that wasn't here yesterday. Um, but I haven't done everything, and blocking that water is something I'd never done before. I definitely want to check that out, but we're gonna have to find something first before we can do that. And in fact, it's right up there. Oh, I wonder where that sprite is from. Uh, I'd actually rather sell these than use them. Because money is hard to come by right now. Use another repel here. So we head up this way. Nice. Yeah, full odds uh, shiny. That's awesome. I have gotten two full odds shiny in my life. Oh, also, we're gonna pick up our little Minecraft pickaxe here. Minecraft pickaxe. Gonna hook it on the outside of the bag. Don't wanna encumber the bag too much. Dude, Minecraft? Oh my god. Yeah, we also use emulator speed up, just because I didn't want to waste too much time, because shiny hunting is not the goal of this playthrough, so I wanted to make it as in unobtrusive as possible. But I do have it to where if you do exclamation mark subs, the if you gift 50 subs, I will shiny hunt a Pokemon for you. Uh, I don't actually want to be here, but... I'll take the rare candy, I guess. So, I want to go back to the first place that was caved in, because now that we have a pickaxe, I would imagine we'll actually be able to take care of it. Shiny Hunt a Legendary? Yeah. I don't mind shiny hunting any of the Legendaries, it's fun. Unfortunately for the legendaries we already caught, though, we'll have to wait until we unlock the Elite Four before I can, like, properly... Did I run out of Super Repels? Oh no, I still got 10. Never mind. Alright. Back up here. Around this away. Down here. And then out here. Now that we have the pickaxe... Like this entrance is caved in. Use the pickaxe. <laughs> Little animation too. It's pretty cool. The entrance is clear. Oh, see you, Bulby. Oh, who's this? I thought I heard something banging. I'm Shock Slayer. Yo, the lead developer of Crystal Clear in the game. Alright, so we give him the pickaxe. Uh, hopefully we'll be able to have a way to unblock that other cave-in. Pickaxe Pog. What's up, Zen? How you doing, man? As you more or less just saved my life, I'm gonna forge you a gift. I'll take a bit, so come back tomorrow and I'll have something for you. Well, thankfully, we don't uh, have to come back tomorrow. Because of this beautiful little thing called being a Time Lord. So, we're just gonna save real quick. And I'm gonna soft reset and get to the menu. Reset the clock. I'll make it Friday. Even though it's Wednesday when I'm recording this, the time is not right, but it doesn't really matter. Yep, 
here it is. We get to have a sword. Which is super dope. Pretty simple. Aside from cutting through thin trees, you can also use it to cut grass. The sword is a key item that nullifies ever needing cut. We never need to teach cut to our Pokemon, which is fantastic. Here we go. Here's another uh, colorful pig named Piggy. We'll have to come back and talk to him later. But uh, let's go to that other cave in. Hopefully we're able to destroy it still. I believe we just had to go up here and that was it. Night of the Wind moment? What? Guys, it, it's, it's like Sonic. It's like when Sonic had the sword. <gasps> oh, cool. You can do this with the... Oh, that's not what it's for. If you, I brought mine. Thank you. So there's actually an Easter egg that allows you to um, open up the crumbled pathways without the sword or the pickaxe, but I didn't get to show it. I was kind of hoping. Careful in there? Uh-oh. I don't know what this is. Oh? What happened to Piggy? Okay. <laughs> oh. Unknown tablet. Okay. I've never done this before. What? Oh, I think this is part of the Ruins of Alf side quest. I wonder if this unknown tablet does anything. Uh, what did that say? What is that? GC... Er... I have no idea what that says. <laughs> I'm terrible at reading unknown. All right. I may or may not do this side quest. The Ruins of Al's side quest in Crystal Clear is, like, ridiculous. <laughs> like, it's super convoluted, and, like, it's really cool uh, for puzzle solving and stuff, but I don't know. It's probably going to take me way too long to actually complete. Yeah, unknown is really cool. I agree. All right, so now we have the sword, which is what I wanted from here. Oh, hello, random guy. Random girl, too. Nice. Where are we? Are we in Union Cave, or are we in... Oh, I didn't know uh, guys could see you downstairs. I'm doing my best to avoid trainers, just because we haven't fought any gym leaders yet, so they're really, really weak. I feel like it's kind of lame whenever we fight a trainer and just obliterate them. Alright, let's uh, throw out oven here. Ding! Uh, well, I don't know why I chose to do flamethrower, but I think we might still KO. Because <laughs> it's level 3. Nice! Let's go. Bad choices are good. Sometimes. I think. Wow. A lot of trainers big fan of uh, Squirtle and Charmander. No Bulbasaur fans, though. I guess I'm the Bulbasaur fan, so... It's fun. Oh, okay. We got all three Kanto starters here. 
level 55 Tyranitar because the level 55 Tyranitar is not meant to be a team member. And I'm not using it as such. It is specifically a utility Pokemon. Used to help catch other Pokemon because I have sub goals uh, for people to have me catch Pokemon and name them for them. And I didn't want it to be cumbersome in order to do that uh, so that we can keep a move on. So the Tyranitar is for utility only. All right, I kind of forgot I had a Pokemon with Dig. I'm just gonna use Dig to get out of here. Okay. So now that we have the sword, it's not actually gonna help us in the next dungeon, but uh, I just, I wanted it. Uh, let's head to New Cinnabar. And I think this dude's a trainer. I don't want to fight him, so... I'm gonna avoid him. Uh, I believe we can just head to the Seafoam Islands right here. So, uh, I talked about this a little bit yesterday, but uh, all of the dungeons that were cut in Pokemon Crystal uh, have been fully reintegrated here. And also, the music for this place is pretty awesome. I'm just gonna be quiet for a little bit and see if you can figure out... Uh, what song this is. At least I'm pretty sure I know what song this is. Nice. <laughs> I think only B-401, yeah, everything else has a uh, higher level. Let's change that real quick. Sorry, Shelter, but you're gonna be experience fodder. Da -da -da -da. All right, anyway, just so I can talk again. I'm pretty sure this is Wire Sponge from Mega Man X2. It's something from a Mega Man X game, but I can't quite remember. Ah, uh, this is Bubble Crab's theme. Is that right? It's something from Mega Man X 2. I mean, Crystal Snail doesn't really have an ice theme in X2. We're gonna switch back to Tatra, just to get a move on. Oh yeah, it is Bubble Crab's theme, because of, uh... Ooh, King's Rock, nice. That gives 10% chance of flinching. Uh, is it here? There's another hidden ledge. I don't think it's here, I think it's lower. I think if we head this way... Ooh. Hey, what's up, Joe? How you doing, man? This is where we came through. Chillin', nice. Before we head to Articuno, I want to find this secret here, because I think it's pretty cool. At least from what I understand. Or what I remember, anyway. I think we need to go this direction, anyway. Ah, uh, that's where I'm trying to get, okay. The best legendary of all time? Articuno? Best legendary of all time? Articuno is definitely one of my favorites, but... Best legendary of all time, that's, that's a pretty high bar. Boulder fell through, and we will fall through. As well as I'm sore. <laughs> okay, so I believe Articuno's right up there, but like I said, there's something I want to see if I can find first. Mm. 
He's the best of my my heart. Oh yeah, I mean Articuno's not the greatest Pokemon ever. Okay, there's another strength boulder that we need to find. I'm pretty sure Articuno, Articuno is over here. Let me just look. Yeah, that's where Articuno is, but I don't want Articuno just yet. Unless, am I stuck here? I think there's a way that I'm not taking. Okay, this is gonna push us through. I want to get to our right, right here. I think I need to do that by taking the other ladder. Here. Yeah. We go up this ladder, we'll maybe find the other strength folder? Huh. Take the item. Ah, here it is. Pigmas using strength. Let's go. Yo, what's up, Delcano? What's the current team looking like? Uh, if you look, not Tyranitar, but the three below it is our current team. Okay. So now, we go over here. There is a hidden ledge. We were able to see it earlier, but there is a hidden ledge right here. Normally, it uh, shows you that there's a hidden ledge here because there are some footprints that you can uh, interact with. But if we go to this corner, we can pick up the Pokey Flute. Now, I don't remember what the Pokey Flute does in Crystal Clear specifically, but it's kind of neat. I have a Swinub and Vaporeon. This is not a Nuzlocke. This is a ROM hack called Pokemon Crystal Clear. Oops. I didn't really want this, but okay. We'll sit through this animation. Oh, Jinx was added. Oh boy, Jinx. Umbreon's better. I'd say Jolteon is probably my favorite evolution. It's either Jolteon or Leafeon. Shiny Umbreon looks dope, though. All right, now for what we're really here for. What up? All right, we got Tyranitar out first. Anyway, gonna save before this. Let's catch our next legendary, Articuno. Not gonna use him, but it's level five, so we get to make Nice use of the level ball. So, if you weren't here yesterday, the uh, all of Kurt's Pokeballs have been fixed in Crystal Clear to work how they were originally intended to work. And that means the level ball, what it does is it has a variable catch rate of two to eight times the normal catch rate. If you are below, if your Pokemon's level is below the one you're trying to catch, it will have a one times catch rate. If it's higher, then uh, the wild Pokemon's level, it will have a two times catch rate. So literally just having a Pokemon that's higher level than the one you're trying to catch will automatically be the same catch rate as an Ultra Ball. Um, if you are twice their level, it will have a four times catch rate. And if it you are quadruple their level, which uh, we're 11 times their level here, so uh, we don't have to worry about that. It will have a times eight time, a times eight catch rate. So I wouldn't be surprised if we caught Articuno and just a few Pokeballs here. Still got that legendary catch rate though, so. Having a niche pick in, <laughs> in Leafeon? Dude, Leafeon's dope. Four times better than an Ultra Ball. See, the thing is, though, is that even if your Pokemon is at max, your level balls will only have that times eight effectiveness up to Pokemon of level 25. But, I mean, you only need to be twice the level in order to catch Pokemon. Like, if you have a level 100 Pokemon, you only need to be twice the level to have a four times catch rate. So, you can catch Pokemon up to level 50, which is like 
I'm pretty sure. I don't think there's any wild Pokemon in this game that goes above level 50. Well, I guess uh, this Tyranitar actually is level 55, so never mind. But maybe it's level 60 they don't go above. I also believe the level balls are cheaper to purchase uh, than Ultra Balls. Light blessing ya. So uh, it's doing, man. I just really want to catch these legendaries and then get a move on starting to fight the gym leaders, you know? Because like I said, one of my goals is to catch all 251 Pokemon in this playthrough, so... This is part of my strategy, is to catch the legendaries we can while they're level 5. How's I've been treating you, man? Come on, Articuno. Dude, we got so lucky. Lugia went in in three level balls. It was so nice. <laughs> Why can't the rest of the legendaries be like that? A pair of shoes? Nice. That's awesome. Finally balanced. Oh, well, one shoe bigger than the other. <laughs> your old pair of shoes, just lopsided. Instead of Lone Stone Malik, you're lopsided Malik. Hey, there we go. Articuno's better than Lugia? Ah, I don't know about that, but hey, we got it. Ah, uh, financially balanced. Nice. Oh, I definitely read that as finally balanced. Uh, being balanced in your finances is very nice thing. Oh, show. Money can't buy happiness, but it sure as shit helps. Um, alright. I guess we'll just immediately go. I'll give my Pokemon a quick heal here. Gonna throw out Tyranitar out front again because, uh... Wild Pokemon, uh, if you couldn't guess, Zapdos is in the power plant. Um, but before we actually go into the power plant, I do want to grab Pika Blue out of the box real quick because Pika Blue has Flash. Oh, uh, where is Pika Blue at? There. Uh, I need to swap something out first. I'm gonna swap out Lugia so that I remember to actually come back to the box. Favorite Pokemon game? Um, we're not counting ROM hacks. Uh, it's either Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Black and White 2. One of those, which I think is the pretty stock answer. Alright, we now have uh, the ability to cut trees. Nice. Put the sword. Talk to this guy. Stelmo, nice to meet you. Thanks, buddy. Cataloging species, huh? Is it in a battle? No, not really. I do want to fight all of the special characters eventually, but uh, since we don't have, so we don't have any gym badges, they're all going to be a cakewalk, even with our current uh, three Pokemon. Go ahead and use Flash. Up Rock Tunnel, and I am in Rock Tunnel for the. Reason that uh, if we head this way, yep. Huh? Weird purple swine up. Oh, that has a name tag. Weird grape. Uh, yesterday, we found two uh, different swine ups that were of different colors, and today we found piggy and weird grape. There's one more we're gonna have to find, but where could it be? All right. Literally doing it. I was about to fly somewhere, but I don't have Lugia, so I gotta go back and grab him. Like, if we were able to have Heart Gold and Soul Silver with the Gen 5 battle system, that would be like the perfect Pokemon game. <laughs> God, forgetting we gotta move this out first. Sorry, Pika Blue, don't need you. Put in XD001. 
Hey, what's up, Soyusa? I'm doing well today. Hope you are doing awesome, too. Playing some Pokemon Crystal Clear. I'm going to head to a mart and sell stuff. Yo, what up, Cookie? Gym leader day. True, dude. We gotta catch Zapdos first. And then we're done catching legendaries for a while. <laughs> Maybe not the best thing entertainment-wise, because I know people like the gym battle, but uh, we're gonna have to do it anyway, so... Yeah, too bad. Skip to this part of the video. <laughs> or not this part, but later on. Right, let's sell all this stuff to not only free up bag space, but give us some money. Oh, I'm gonna keep the big pearl, and that's for a different reason. Don't do this. Don't do this. Uh, I'm actually gonna sell the Repel and Max Repel here, just because we're gonna be buying Super Repels for a while. See, anything else? Nope. Keep everything else. Uh, do you actually sell Super Repels? It'd be super nice if you did, but you don't. So, I'm gonna fly to Azalea real quick, since we're entering another dungeon, and buy more Super Repels. I think maybe Pewter City also sells Super Repels, but I'm not entirely sure. I will buy 10. That's fine for right now. It's been kind of fun having to stay tight on money, because I, I'm not kidding when I literally say once we fight a gym leader, we will never have to worry about money ever again. Because <laughs> we can just grind uh, gym leaders over and over again. Let's head on down. Oh? Fun little cutscene there with Zapdos. Always thought that was kind of fun. Head into the power plant, which seemed to have been dilapidated after a year. Hey, it's Voltorb! I thought the Pokemon were actually higher level here. I guess not. Also, I'll uh, give you guys a chance to... Hey, there we go, level 33. That's what I was looking for. Ha, ha, ha. Good one, Malik. Ha, 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 ha. My best hiker impression. Oh, that is a Voltorb. All right. But works like Gen 1. Level 25. Can we run? Can't run. Okay. Um... Ha, 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 ha. Oh my god! <laughs> no! Oven! We left the oven on. <laughs> no! Rip oven. Yeah, it's Spark, uh, Spark Mandrel's theme. What's up, RJD? How you doing? Welcome to the stream. Are all of our, uh, main team members just gonna get obliterated by these Voltorb? <laughs> No, that's exactly what's happening. <laughs> Hopefully we don't run into another one, or else we're gonna have to go back and heal. Because I'm committing to using the team members that were actually supposed- Oh, god damn it. Well, Bulby, it was nice knowing ya. <laughs> What? Alright. Tackle instead of self-destruct. Well, that's a nice change of pace. Doing good? Good to hear, man. Getting cooked? Well, it would be kind of weird if the oven was getting cooked. I feel. Yeah, Crystal Clear has a absolute shit ton of Mega Man music in it. It's awesome. Hey, what's up, Kylogius? Is your refrigerator running? No, I don't know. I didn't use Sludge Bomb over Petal Dance here, even though Sludge Bomb is physical, uh, to hopefully try to get a few heals out of this. Sludge Bomb, baby. 
So it looks like in Generation 2, Leech Seed works after the foe attacks? That's interesting. Because something that I didn't know about Generation 2 until recently is that... Um... Poison and burn only actually hurt you. I think it also works with curse as well. Uh, where are we going? What's down here? Oh, yeah, this is the power plant basement that I guess they evacuated. I don't know. This is kind of like an interesting way to integrate both the power plant from Gen 2 as well as the power plant from Gen 1. But. Yo, what's up, Dorito? What you angry about, man? Alright, this is just not the right direction. I don't know why I keep going this way. We have to go down here. That's probably Voltorb, so I'm just gonna keep running. Oh, you're probably a trap as well. Probably a trap as well. All right, this is where Zapdos sits in Gen 1. And this is crystal clear. So he's chilling up here. Uh, Tyranitar's out first. Let's go ahead and save so that we can uh, save Scum to keep our level balls. And let's catch our final legendary before our first gym battle. What's up, Zapdos? Level ball time. I'm gonna go ahead and just move these. First level ball, let's go. Come on. This is the one. On it. One, two, three. Easy every time. <laughs> oh man. Can I call him or can I call him? Such a dweeb. Alrighty, let's go ahead, and uh, I guess since now we have all the legendary birds, uh, we have all the legendary birds, we have XD001, and we have Ho-Oh. So, uh, we can fight any of the gym leaders in any order that we want, so where do you guys want to go? We can fight, uh, we can fight literally any of the 16, so just let me know which gym leader you want to see first. I'll take whoever has the most, uh, the most support. Uh, for now, I'm gonna go ahead and deposit Tyranitar. We're not looking to catch anything at the moment, so I think that leaving him in the PC. Actually, I want to put him in box 14. I'll put all my utility mine in box 14, so that way I don't have to, like, shift through the boxes to find him. Let's see, he should be down here. Put him over here. We'll also put Ble Pika Blue over here. I did save the game. Oh, see ya, Niv. Top three for you. Nice. All right, folks. What uh, gym leader do you want to see first? We need a item for Oven. I guess we'll give him the King's Rock for now. Or her, the King's Rock. Sorry. I'll take the smoke ball off of... Maybe we won't. Actually, what we can do is I can fly to... Zalia Town. Actually, I think it's in Pewter, Pewter City. And I can buy one of the items that uh, boost up poison-type moves. Because, uh, Ivysaur's special stat is already good, so I don't think I need to boost the grass-type moves any further. Poison barb, that's what I'm looking for. You can also buy a light ball, nice. If we were using Pika Blue, that would be very useful. Uh, when we're not running away from Pokemon, we'll go ahead and use the poison barb. Alrighty, who's our first gym leader? 
Will it be Brock? Uh, we also have enough money right now to where I'm actually going to head to Celadon and go to the Beam Tutor. Who's right here. And we're going to teach Vaporeon Ice Beam. I think I'm also going to teach Oven Thunderbolt. I actually don't know if I have enough... Uh, Money for that. I don't think so. No, I don't. Oh, I'm gonna need to sell one more thing. Do I have anything to sell right now? Mm, not really. And nobody really wants to see anything. <laughs> Is this the call for me to go back to PO6? I'm actually curious real quick. Is there a basement floor? There is not, so... The trainer customization is only in the Goldenrod department store. I don't have anything to sell, so... Alrighty, well it seems that I am choosing the first gym leader. And probably the least interesting gym leader. Well, maybe not least interesting, but I guess this could be kind of cool. Let's go to Olivine City. We can probably fight two gym leaders back to back here. Level cap 10, so I think we're gonna be well and good uh, against Jasmine here if our level cap is 10, so let's do it. So, like I said, every single gym leader is able to be uh, uh, refought, and they all have 16 different teams based on the amount of badges that you have. So, Jasmine just starts with their Steelix at level 10. So this was actually a good one to fight. We might have some trouble here, but thankfully Oven's got a fire type move and is fairly Brazilian of a Pokemon, so. Very anticlimactic music for a gym battle, but that's how it is. Ow. <laughs> Screech is very, very deafening. All right, flamethrower spam. Pretty good against uh, Steelix. <laughs> good job, Oven. Getting rid of that excess heat. Appreciate it. All right, I should have actually had the amulet coin, but it's fine. All right, now that we defeated Jasmine, we could literally sit here and, and re-fight her over and over and over again to gain levels, but I would like to maybe be on level and not ahead of the levels of the gym leaders, and also our badge is updated, so now it shows that we have the mineral badge, which is great. The Pokemon League? How important are we? Congratulations. Every time you complete a gym challenge. Well, that's convenient. A drought Ted Joe's Hairs will visit the Sprout Tower. Yeah, I can do that. Hey, what's up, Tempest? How you doing, man? Welcome to Pokemon Crystal Clear, an open world ROM hack for Pokemon Crystal. Very good. All right, well, let's uh, go ahead and fly to Violet City real quick. Just for your town, I chose Cerulean City as a start town. This is my third playthrough of this game, so I know a bit about it. So I chose Cerulean as a strategic choice. Okay, uh, we're going to Sprout Tower. Uh, actually, we just need to talk to this guy. Yes, I highly recommend playing it. It's very good. We got one gym badge, so now we have Flash, but we still got uh, Pika Blue, so. Alrighty. Well, Tempest, since you're here real quick, uh, who do you want to see as gym leader number two? Let's see what the level cap is just by hopping in here real quick. 17? 
This might be a bit of a tougher fight, but we'll try. Uh, can be any of the 16 uh, gym leaders except for Jasmine. Oh, also, I should say, now that we have a gym badge, all of the trainers, and obviously the other gyms are scaled up, but all of the trainers in the overworld are scaled as well, as well as if we hadn't caught the legendaries, I believe they scale by five levels per gym badge? I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I think they stopped scaling at eight gym badges. But yeah. Uh, if I don't get a response, I have an idea for who I want to pick. Actually, I can do a bit of a side quest here. I'm waiting for that. Uh, first, I want to go teach Thunderbolt. But uh, then after this, I'm going to unlock a particular battle music theme that I think fans of this stream would really enjoy. I believe we have enough money from defeating Jasmine. We do. That is the wrong move. Oh boy. Give me Thunderbolt. I'm really glad this guy exists. <laughs> Alright, try attack, flamethrower, thunder wave, thunderbolt. Pretty nice. Good set of moves. Okay. I'm gonna do the side quest real quick, and if I don't get a response, I will choose the next gym leader. Head to Fuchsia City. Alright, I'm gonna toss the smoke ball on oven real quick. Where's the smoke ball? Items. I need the King's Rock for the moment. Just need this. Yo, Cookie, what up? Oven the goat. Is there a particular gym leader you would like to see me tackle next? Oh. I don't have enough money to get into the safari zone. Well, that's awkward. Um... Oh, hello, Onyx. I'm gonna sell this Hyper Potion. I don't need it. It's fine. It's what Pokemon Centers are for. This again. You may proceed to the Safari Zone. Though the Safari Zone is great because, uh, like the guy said, there's no limit as well. Well, one, the Safari Zone is fully reintegrated from Gen 1. Hey, what's up, Cosmic? How you doing? Um, and you can use all your own stuff and actually fight Pokemon in here and don't have to worry about all the BS that the Safari Zone is known for. Pretty nice, but we are here for a specific reason. Hopefully this person's here is all is here all the time. I don't know where else they would be if they weren't. If I can remember. I also uh I think after you left Cosmic, I caught uh, B yesterday. And I don't understand the joke, but I thought it was pretty cute uh how the secret encounter worked. Yo, what up? There is a lot of cool Pokemon in the Safari Zone, and all of the different areas have different Pokemon, just like the regular uh, Safari Zone does. Yeah, the B emoji. Oh, is that the joke? That it's the emoji? Yo, another amulet coin. We definitely don't need another one, but... All right, I think I may be brain farting on where this person is. I know they're in the safari zone. Probably shouldn't keep up and out front because we got to sit and look at the shiny animation, but uh, why not indulge in the shiny animation? Hey, that's nice for money. Maybe, 
up here. Was I already here? I don't remember. I think I may have already been here. Oh my god, where is this lady? <laughs> I'm looking for a specific trainer to fight because they have a battle theme that I think is very appropriate for this channel. But I can't seem to remember where they are. Wait, did I see him? Nope, that is a tree stump. <laughs> Yikes. Ah, here we go, right here. Hey, cat, what's up? Stumbo, that's a cool name? Well, thank you. Get bored looking around here, wanna battle? Yes, we do. Gee, I wonder what this song could be. We got a shiny oven of our own. <laughs> Band hammer? Nice. Like having all these coverage moves on oven now. Beauty of normal types. Ears. Interesting. <laughs> the ace trainers as well also scale. I don't think I mentioned that. Alright, nice. And now that we did that, we now have Escape from the City as a random theme. So... Nice. It is a shiny Clefable. It was a shiny Clefairy, but it is now a Clefable. Alright, that's all we needed from the Safari Zone. Anyone have any preference on our next gym leader? You got until after I sell all this stuff that I don't want. If anyone's got a choice. Nopers? I, you know, I think I can tell from that. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go to Celadon department store real quick. So off. I don't need two amulet coins. I think who's holding the amulet coin right now? Actually, I'm just double checking to make sure I'm not selling off my only one. King's Rock. Okay, good for on those. Do 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 do. do. That sick club. See ya. Nugget. See, uh, keeping the big pearl once again. I might actually put it in the, uh, PC storage. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. And we're gonna go fight Lieutenant Surge. We got a pretty solid setup for that. Item storage. Oh yeah, there's also a bank account where you can, uh, store money as well, which is pretty nice. Whoops, I definitely want that. Who's this guy? He looks kind of shady. Oh, it was four years ago. It was. Reminder that Crystal Clear, like, story-wise, is supposed to take place during, um... A year after the events Pokemon Crystal. Vermillion. 
Bump. Welcome back, Cosmic. Alright, so Vaporeon is gonna probably get sidelined here. I'll try to use it since the Tended Surge is electric type, but we'll see what happens. Prepare to be shocked! Thankfully, we do not have to do the trash can gym puzzle. <laughs> Thank goodness. I'm glad that continued to be a stupid idea that people didn't want to actually implement. I mean, I guess the nice thing is that this gym is still low enough of a level to where when we're not fighting Magnemites or Pikachus, um, the electric types probably won't actually have electric type moves, so Vaporeon can kind of run rampant here for a minute. Has a rubber glove for air. That's true, he does. It would be very sad. Imagine if you uh, wanted to do the refights and you had to redo the trash can puzzle every time. It'd be terrible. Oh, something I also didn't talk about is that a lot of the trainers and a lot of Yo, oh, what's up, Poop Man? Welcome back. Yeah, three day streak. What a guy. What a guy. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, so uh, what Shock did is actually changed a lot of the color palettes for a lot of the trainers, which adds a lot more variety. Uh, I think with, like, just the world and the people you're fighting and the fact that there's more than just white people <laughs> in the world, too, is pretty cool. Well, it's very nice when you're fighting a lot of trainers back-to-back -back that, uh, you know, each, uh, not only do they have their own classes, but they're all dressed or look a little different, too, which is neat. Thank goodness Electric doesn't resist water for whatever reason. I always found that kind of cool with Pokemon that just because you're good against a type doesn't mean you necessarily resist a type. I do think that every type other than Dragon and Ghost resist itself, though. I don't think there's anything weird like that. Oh, <laughs> Niv! Oh my god! He's being PG friendly though, thank goodness. All right, here we go, Lieutenant Surge. This is also really funny. I remember this from the first time. It's incredible. That's so out of place? What do you mean? <laughs> Lieutenant Surge is literally Guile. At least ha a Niv has manners? Uh, sort of, yeah. Dude, I can't believe I'm about to, like, solo this entire gym with the water type, but I guess it's not too surprising since uh, nothing resists what we have, and we have one of the most powerful water moves in the game. Oh no! My my master plan. Good thing Vaporeon's Vaporeon. Eevee is fantastic. Eevee is uh, right up there with Bulbasaur is one of my favorites. Bulbasaur and Raichu. No! He lives. Do you have anything? You know. What a shame. Who can be all types? Bro hasn't heard of Arceus. Well, rip channel of Sonic. Thought we could solo the entire gym with him. Would have been really funny. Your oven can finish the job here. And we've got an Ivysaur in the back if we need it. He's just a really high level. Or she's just a really high level, so... Trying to avoid using her. Is that a shiny Pokemon? Oven is, in fact, a shiny Pokemon. Not a Pokey fan. 
just know Ash is the best MC. I don't think Ash ever had an Eevee, though. You don't know how to feel about the battle theme being Giles, by the way? Why? It's a, it's a joke because Lieutenant Surge looks just like Guile from Street Fighter. It's just for Lieutenant Surge, like it's not, uh... It's not like, the gym leader theme isn't like this all the time, it's literally just for him. Right now, I have all of the music, uh, randomized, so it plays, uh, random tracks from the game. And we, uh, just unlocked, uh, Escape from the City as well. It's in this game. Zab Cannon, what a great move. I think in 2D, yeah, is there, like, something... Is there something about Guile's theme that I don't know? Because I thought that, uh... On our wiggly tree, do not water it. Cuter city? Yes, I do know about that already. Well, thank you, Pokemon League, for letting let me know. Sounded a bit strange for the GBC sound vibe. Oh. Oh, speaking of Guile's theme. <laughs> It comes back to haunt. Missed opportunity? Eh. It would be weird to have a town theme be like a battle theme because the the town themes and the route themes are not changed. Sonic Boom. Um I was gonna do something, but I don't remember what it was. Well that's unfortunate. Let me think here for a second. Just got two badges. Oh, I mean, I might as well do this. It's not really necessary. Let's actually go to um, Pewter City first and see if I can find the squirt bottle. Curse the internet, poop man. From you? That's so sad. Do you have the squirt bottle? Thank you for replaying the same town theme we were already listening to. Pokemon's the best Pokemon in the series? I mean, if you mean the objective best, I'm pretty sure that goes to Mega Rayquaza. Unless there's something that outshined it in, like, Gen 9 or Gen 10. Because I don't know anything about those mods. Theorinform uh, Landorus is also insanely good. You have... Shake. Nice. Figured there were pokey experts here. Uh, there probably are some. There's a squirt bottle somewhere we can get from somebody. Do you have it? You have it. Okay, cool. Now we got the squirt bottle. I think we can actually use the squirt bottle on our team members. I remember reading that somewhere in the documentation. See what Ivysaur thinks about it. Probably likes it. Bulby seemed delighted, of course. The objective best in terms of stats is Mega Rayquaza. Let's see, while we're here. Just don't go in that way. Wait, the back way. See you, Poop Man. Thanks for hanging out with us today. Junka Amber contains Pokemon DNA. Oh, damn. I forgot to not talk to the scientist. So, if you remember back when we stole the Rainbow Wing, uh, you can do the same thing with the old Amber, but you can also just talk to this guy, too. It doesn't really do any... It's not any different. But I guess we can get Aerodactyl if I want. Uh, maybe I'll save it in case somebody, uh, subs for it. Alright, what to do next? I mean... We could just continue doing the gym challenge, really. 
Maybe I will try to add a fourth member to the team as well. And I'll probably leave it at four for right now, so that way we can keep Pigmas and Lugia here in the party. Um, I guess one thing I can do, actually, is now that we fought some gym leaders and have access to all the money we ever need in life, um, actually, see, I don't know if I have anything to sell. Uh, not really. Okay. I guess I could sell some TMs. When we get eight gym badges, we're able to buy every TM in the game anyway, so it doesn't really matter having them, unless I want to teach them, which I don't. I mean, the Battle Tutor is a good enough job. So, because our residence is in Cerulean City, uh, we can go in here. So, I completely glossed over it at the very beginning of the game yesterday, but we have our own house that we can, like, decorate and stuff, and I definitely want to decorate a house, but I want to choose a nice place to live first. Cerulean City is just where we started. The nice thing about um, being in Cerulean City is you actually get uh, access to this place. Not necessarily early, you can just avoid, like, surfing around and stuff, which is nice. Oh wait, we can actually use repels and they'll be effective. That's nice. Do, 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 do. Let's talk to this guy. Oh, I have a few badges. Thanks for the egg, bro. Be curious to see what that egg hatches into. It's blue. All of the eggs actually have a have a different uh, regular and shiny palette for every Pokemon in the game, which is really cool. But uh, let's head in here real quick. What is this place? The Route 24 Cave. Let's explore it a bit. We've already got Surf and Waterfall, so I'm not worried about that. I'm gonna try just, uh, as we go through these dungeons here, to press A on random rocks or rocks that I think would have hidden items, because, like I said, or like I say every time we enter a dungeon, because I just love being repetitive, is that there are hidden items freaking everywhere in this game, uh, when you're in dungeons. Maybe one here. How'd you get Shadow Lugia? There's a little side quest that you do. Um, in order to get Shadow Lugia over regular Lugia. It's really cool. There's no, like, fundamental difference between Shadow and regular Lugia, other than when Shadow Lugia sent into battle, uh, it spawns, I think, Perma Rain? It might only actually be five turn rain. I can't remember entirely. I think if we go this way, we might be able to encounter a Pokemon? Yeah, I'm thinking of a different spot. But yeah, it's a cool little side quest. There's actually multiple ways to get, um, Shadalugia. Well, multiple being two ways, but I won't spoil the other way because we haven't, uh, encountered it yet. Ooh, there it is. Do I want Lapras? I mean, I don't need a water type. I'm trying to think of what I want the fourth team member to be. So we've already got, we got water, ice, fire and electric, poison and grass. I mean, that's already extremely good coverage just on these three Pokemon. Maybe a flying type would be nice? Yeah, I'll look through the Pokedex and Maybe see what uh, flying Pokemon we could grab. Hey, what are you, huh? It's a blue swine up. Bloink. Doesn't seem to be lost. Better leave it alone. And that was our final colored uh, swine up we have to find. But also in the Route 24 cave, if we come up here, you look like you have a hidden item. Delmo found a big rock. 
Put the big rock in the rock pocket. Where's the rock pocket? Um, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> kind of funny. The thing is, I'm trying to think. Flying types are good against. The flying types overlap every super effectiveness with fire. Because they're good against grass, good against bug. Is that it? What else are flying types good against? It's like obviously the main reason to have a flying type is for fly, but we already got uh, Lugia here, so we don't need that. So the big rock that we collected is yet another little Easter egg. If we go back into our house, no matter what residence you're in, when you collect the big rock, the big rock will just appear somewhere. The big rock. What a lovely decoration. So good. Oh, what is this? Isn't this like the... Yeah, this is the police. Oh, never mind. All hail Big Rock, yep. Yeah, if you're curious on Shadow Lugia, you'll be able to uh, watch the VOD. It's near the end of uh, the previous day. You gotta watch the VOD now or wait for it to come out on YouTube. Which is uh, what I will be working on right after I finish the stream today. Oh, also, a very nice quality of life thing is that regardless of if you use cut um, or if you... I guess if you use cut or if you use the sword, uh, every tree that you cut will be permanently cut. Which is nice, so you never have to do it again. I actually don't remember where cut is. Let me look real quick. I think I can just do this. Yep. Uh, it tells you where all the HMs are. It doesn't tell you the requirements for them, though. Route 2. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, we can just go get it in Azalea Town. I mean, we don't need cut because we have the sword, but... You know, the completionist in me would feel very weird if I didn't collect all of the HMs. We actually only have two left. We have, uh, Cut and Fly. We have everything else. Go ahead and grab, uh, Cut real quick. Why not? The Magic Conjure of SpongeBob, it is. Hope you guys have been enjoying Crystal Clear so far. Shout out to the VOD watchers as well for people watching it. I hope uh, I've encouraged you to give this ROM hack a try because it's super freaking good. I know uh, Pokemon is not what people watch me for, but uh, I sure have a lot of fun playing this game. And it's always nice to have a good bit of variety on the second channel other than just uh, PO6 or Sonic stuff. I think, anyway. Um, how close is this age? Egg hatching. Needs more time? Alright, we'll keep it in the party. Yeah, I mean, this is already... From my knowledge of Pokemon, this team honestly feels pretty balanced for a while. I feel like just because of the... the DV discrepancy, our Eevee is really good, DV-wise, but uh, Clefable's not so good. And, uh, Ivysaur is also not so good with that 5 speed. The attack's not really a big deal, but... I don't know who else, because, like, I'm trying to think. Let me actually see. If I find a flying type... Well, let's just go to Pidgey, I guess. There's Pidgey. There's Pidgey. If I go to... whoops. Oh my god. Info. I believe in the Pokedex we can see type effectiveness. Yeah, flying is good against bug, and it's good against grass. Oh, it's also good against fighting. That's right. So, it doesn't overlap uh, completely. I completely forgot about that. You also get the immunity to ground when you're a flying type. What types? I'm actually going to look at this just to see what types can we not deal with at the moment. Normal. We don't have a fighting type move. I wonder if any of my Pokemon can learn a fighting type move. Maybe a fighting type would be something we would need. Uh, poison. We can sort of deal with poison. 
Not really. Bug we can deal with, fire we can deal with. Electric, can't really deal with at the moment. Dragon we can deal with. Fighting, we can't deal with. Too bad we don't have a Halucha in this. <laughs> There's actually a good amount of types that we still kind of struggle against. So, I don't know. I haven't really made a decision on what I wanted the fourth Pokemon to be, so. Let's, um, oh gosh. I came to Azalea for cut. We can probably fight the uh, third gym leader now. Maybe Whitney? Do a third gym leader, third gym leader type deal. Maybe Blue would be an interesting third gym leader as well. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Arcanine might not be a bad Pokemon. We have all Kanto Pokemon right now though, which... I'd like some Johto representation on the team, but I'm not too uh, bothered by that. Now, let's go ahead and uh, face off against Blue. Why not? I don't know why I used the Super Repel in a gym, but whatever. I actually, I'm, I am gonna save because I am a, actually kind of worried that we might be too low level for this. And figure out my type and exploit it. Darn. Oh, as the third gym leader, I can't imagine that Blue's team is going to be too crazy for Pokemon. Okay. Rattata? All right, well, we're off to a good start. First Pokemon, a higher level than ours, though, so a bit worrisome. Oh, it does! Well, that worked out pretty well. <laughs> hmm. Water gun. Interesting. I don't know if I want that. <laughs> Big spoon. Wow, good barrier. This is honestly kind of like the, uh, the fight on the Nugget Bridge against Blue in, uh, Gen 1. Well, that's super unfortunate. Thankfully, Thunder Punch is special. I think we actually win this fight? 73, 38. We might survive this. It depends on what the range gives us. Nice! So, how ranges work in Gen 2 is, I believe, there's just, like, an out of 16. So, like, there's 0, which means the move's gonna do the least amount of damage, and then there's 16, which it does the most amount of damage on the hit. And I guess it's just a little bit of randomness to keep things interesting, I suppose. I don't know what's gonna happen. Thankfully, we have a Clefable with uh, Thunderbolt against this Pidgeotto. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. No, I gotta hand it to Oven. Oven's actually pretty dope. So far, anyway. We are still very early on in the game. Ooh, War Turtle. I kind of expected it to be Growlithe, but, uh... Blue having a Blastoise, kind of neat. Well, eventually, I would imagine. Thunderbolt. Pretty aggressive in Gen 2, animation-wise, anyway. I probably shouldn't have used Thunderbolts again, because I think, uh, we're gonna heal up here. Unless we get... Uh, I'm actually gonna use Thunder Wave. Full Restore! I mean, I know he's supposed to be the 16th Gym Leader, but that seems kind of a s excessive for a Pokémon that's level 20. Paralyzed, nice. Use try attack this time. Hopefully, War Turtle has pretty good defenses. Oh, thanks, critical hit. Hopefully, he doesn't have a second uh, attack here. I mean, this was. Just, oh, come on. 
Yeah, this was, uh, basically just Rival 2 from Gen 1. That's pretty cool. Uh, had you pick Charmander. Unfortunately, I don't think Oven's gonna live to see the end of the fight, but, uh, Ivysaur versus War Turtle, I wonder who's gonna win that one. Assuming that War Turtle doesn't have an Ice-type move, but I don't think it would. Alright, finally got it after a bit of Thunderbolt spam. Noise. The Earth Badge. Bum, 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 bum. What do we get from him? I don't remember. Swift? Interesting. Alright, what do we get for three? Complete another gym challenge. Reflect your new badge. You have three badges. Use their Pokemon to fly. Oh, this is when we would normally unlock the fly HM, so... Let's, uh, do that. I would believe that the world is kind of scaled similarly to where we are now, rather than us being able to raffle stomp whatever we uh, encountered. Whew, that's uh, that's about as dated of a meme as this game is. <laughs> Let's go ahead and just uh, collect fly. Uh, I think we can just get it from Cianwood. I'm trying to think maybe a psychic type would be good, but that's yet another special attacker. I think a fighting type would round us out pretty good. Ooh! I know the perfect Pokemon, actually. Unfortunately, I don't think I'll be able to keep it much of a secret what Pokemon I'm trying to catch here, because I don't know where to get one. But I am going to pull out... Uh, we don't need Swinub right now. I'm gonna go ahead and box him and pull out, uh, Catra. It was in box 14, because I remembered that. Let's see. Get out of here. Egg. I like that it's just egg. <laughs> Alright, we still got some level balls. I think the perfect Pokemon to be our fourth team member and round some things out because we've got we've got Vaporeon, who's a nice defensive wall and a good special attacker, who's kind of slow. Clefable kind of fills the same role as that, <laughs> unfortunately, but uh, it was what uh, GJ and uh, Cookie picked, so what we're using. And we also have a slow special attacker in Ivysaur, so... Uh, maybe it won't be the perfect Pokemon, but let me see if I can find it here, and we'll just go alphabetical. I think that my fourth Pokemon is going to be... Heracross. I love Heracross. It is kind of slow. Our team overall just is very slow. But, um... The bug fighting type rounds out our weaknesses very well. Uh, especially if we can get, you know, Mega Horn eventually. Give it a good bug type move. Where'd he go? Air across. Search. Ooh, we can find it in the Safari Zone. Level 24? I mean, that's a little bit steep for our team right now. The rest is Headbutt. Well, we have the bicycle, so we can do that. Is there maybe a non-tree? That's not the safari zone. Bug catching contest. Well, it's not Saturday. But we could also purchase it, I guess. But, uh, got a strap. Well, we're not strapped for cash, but I don't really want to grind for the moment. All right, looks like we got to do some head button. Uh, cause 24 is a little high. I'd rather raise him from 15 than catch him at 24. Just to keep him a little bit in line with the rest of the team. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess we can really go anywhere. Let's, uh, let's go to Violet City. Why not? 
And that way, with four team members, we got some very solid coverage, even though we're pretty slow. Um, we've got solid coverage with, uh, with our typing, so... Most of our Pokémon can take one hit anyway, and especially because it's Gen 2 with Staty XP, we don't have to worry about it. So if you didn't, uh, if you weren't here yesterday... Oh, also we got the game quarter music as the bike music. When you use the bike, you get a helmet, and you can use headbutt without actually having any of your Pokémon no headbutt. Kind of like how the sword allows us to use, use, uh, cut. I'm gonna go ahead and save here, I feel like we're gonna have to encounter quite a few before we, uh, get a hair across, but we'll see. Elmo did a headbutt. Kind of a long animation, I hope we find it soon. Oh, interesting. I forgot that was a thing in Gen 2 where sometimes- Is it sometimes the Pokémon can be asleep? Or can the Pokémon be asleep? Oh, Pinsir. Okay, it looks like it's just sometimes, or it depends on, uh, what Pokémon it is. Pinsir would be cool, too, but I definitely want that, uh, fighting type. As well. well hello, Apom. It's a day species that's asleep. But you can still find it? Interesting. Nope. I'm pretty sure there is no... In, uh, in Crystal Clear, I think it's the case in regular Gold Silver Crystal that there are, like, uh, bad trees and good trees, but I think all the trees are the same in Crystal Clear. Hey, there we go. Heracross. Oh, Heracross is a night species. Cool. Those DVs are so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna look for another Heracross. The special DV was pretty good, but bug and fighting are both physical moves, so... I would like something that's at least a little bit better than that. Maybe I could have turned on the dex tracker and, and killed it. I might try that again. When we find the next Heracross, because... Once we turn on the dex tracker, we'll be able to uh, find Heracross super easy. I'm not gonna grind for, a, like, a max DV Heracross or anything, but I would like one that's... ...decent, you know. Hopefully I didn't squander my chances on finding a Heracross in a timely fashion here. Alright, Pinsir, you are great, but not what I want. It also gives us, uh, Johto representation on our team as well. Is always nice. Hopefully when we find Heracross, we can actually catch it. I don't know why we wouldn't be able to catch it, but, you know. And I really should have KO'd that Heracross. It it slipped my mind to use the Dex Tracker, because you can actually activate the Dex Tracker in battle. Which I think I mentioned yesterday. Hello, B-Drill. <laughs> My. I really dig that we have the game corner music. Try a different tree just for shits and giggles, even though it really doesn't matter. Hoot hoot. I suppose that makes sense. I don't know if I've ever actually used Headbutt to look for Pokemon before in Generation 2. I absolutely have in Generation 4 because the Headbutt Tutor can just teach you Headbutt over and over and over again. I don't think whenever I played through Gen 2 I ever actually use headbutt as you can't uh, get the TM again anywhere oh buy a hair across from the game quarter almost seems like a better idea did the game quarter Pokemon count as gift Pokemon Because that one would give us a chance for a better DVs, and it's only 200 coins. 
me look real quick. I think Heracross is in the Celadon game corner. Right over there. Ironically enough, we got the game corner music playing. A Heracross is only 200. I think 100 coins is 10,000 Pokey Dollars. So we could probably just do some Gym Leader refights and call it good. Oh, we can already buy it. All right, great. New uh, new buying UI as well for buying coins. Very nice. The quality of life is primo in this. Yo, Amazon, thank you so much for the raid. Also, I don't know how I already had 200 coins, but I appreciate it. What's up, everybody? How we doing? What were you playing, Amazon? Uh, let me save beforehand just in case. Oh, I also need a spot in my party. Whoops. Thought about that. Hungry? Go get you some food then. That's more than Star Space Challenge? Nice. Hey, hey, hey guys, there's Sonic in this game. Um, because one of the one of the chip tunes is Escape from the City, so so don't leave, please. There's Sonic in this game, I promise. Cool, though. Yeah, finally it's good, uh huh. Uh, I did not want to put uh, Tar uh, Tatra on here. Keep doing that. Didn't think it would take four and a half hours. See, you never think so. But then you actually do it and you're like, fuck. That's why I practiced before I did the Pentafecta, because I was like. I think it's gonna take four hours when I, like, did all the mental math, and then I... yeah. It always takes longer than you think. Okay. Single horn. Save the game for soft resetting. Okay, so this does count as a gift Pokemon. Whenever this prompt comes up, that means we have the one in 1024 uh, type Pokemon. So I actually will go ahead and use this time to reset a little bit for a good Heracross. Uh, I'm looking for something like that. Zero speed DV, not the best. Let's keep looking here. I'm not looking for max DVs, but above 10 in every stat would be nice. Oh. That's pretty good. We're not going to be using any special moves. Yo, what's up, Matios? Welcome back. Final boss is tough, yeah. I'll let, uh... I'll let the crowd decide what we should name Heracross here. Mm. Oh, this Heracross is level 5. Mm. Oh, and it comes with cut and strength. Nice. You don't need the moves, but cool. Yeah, I mean, name him COS? No. <laughs> We've already got one of those. Birthday? Hmm. Alright, let's, uh, let me go to the Battle Tutor. Yes, GJ wanted to name you as a Vaporeon. So. You are a Vaporeon. Alright, Karate Chop we definitely want. Cross Chop is way too oh, uh, strong for what we need right now. Thankfully with the Battle Tutor we can teach over uh, HM moves without doing move delete or shenanigans. Rain Dance. I would never think of Heracross as a setup Pokemon, but that's certainly an interesting move. Nothing else particularly exciting for Heracross, though, but usually Pokemon that are already pretty good don't really have move tutor stuff. Ugliest Pokemon I've ever seen? Do you remember what the Pokemon was?
We'll keep strength, because strength's an 80 power normal type move. Can be good if we, uh, encounter something not so, uh, good. I will probably put Karate Chop first, because it's the same type of attack bonus and has lots of, uh, PP. Well, we can ask Amazon when he comes back, if he comes back. What item? Maybe the King's Rock would be better on Heracross? I think uh, we could probably pretty easily win the game with this team, though. 15 attack, that's very nice. 10 speed is good, too, even though his speed is... What is Heracross's speed, actually? Info. Speed 85. That's actually not too bad. So maybe I should have reset for a better DV, but... Actually got pretty good special defense, too. I didn't know that. I think it's something like your, spa your base speed needs to be above 90 to be faster than the average Pokemon or something like that. So we're a little below that, but it's fine. Okay, um... Hmm... So I want to actually do something real quick. Uh, since Heracross is only level 5, I would like to... get him up to speed just a little bit faster. Hmm... This egg... I would love for this egg to hatch. I'm not going to use a repel right now, because we can just avoid, uh, rain. Wow, dude! Guy can see for miles. I don't have Heracross out first. Oh, well. Uh, I'm pretty sure Perugly is faster. Like, because I know Perugly is, like, deceptively fast. A random trainer getting the uh, ho theme is kind of funny. Oh, we got Thunderbolt on oven. N a Niv has been loosing weights for a curse, yo. What? <laughs> what does it mean? I actually don't feel bad about fighting the trainers on this route right now, because they're scaled to where we are. Other than Heracross, but... I'm going to be doing a thing that will hopefully help us get Heracross up to snuff with everybody else in a fairly quick time. That's, uh, Geodude. <laughs> I think Flamethrower might still do a lot here, just because no special defense. Yo, what is that? Oh, <laughs> nice. Use Thunderbolt? Mm. I don't think that's gonna work. I wonder if right now Tri Attack is better or if uh, Thunderbolt is better. Because, I mean, Tri Attack's 120 base power with the stab, but it's also physical. Hey, at least we're faster than a Slugma. That's not a high bar, but it makes me feel okay about, <laughs> about Oven. Uh, Channel Sonic's actually lowest, uh, thing right now. Bum bum bum. All 
Alright, I think we can fight this guy. I kind of want to wait until I have what I need for Heracross, though. Yo, the Jukes! By Jukes, I mean going through the grass. So I came down here to get the Sweet Scent TM, because having Sweet Scent on Heracross might be kind of nice. I think it can learn it. Let's see. It's a bug type, so I wouldn't be surprised if it could. No, but Bulbasaur can. Eh. It shot 30 times? 30? Wow. Um. Where am I going? I'm going to New Cinnabar. So. I'm going to go into Blaine's gym, but not to actually fight Blaine. <laughs> Funnily enough, so this is brand new. I've talked about this before, but um, a lot of stuff has been restored from Generation 1 and put back into Pokemon Crystal. New Cinnabar is kind of a way to have Cinnabar Island, but still preserve the storytelling of Gen 2. So Blaine has a brand new gym, um, and you can actually fish in this gym. And if you use the old rod, you can find Slugma 100% of the time. Yo, thanks for the lurk, Violus. I appreciate you. And the reason that I want to catch Slugma is... I don't think Ice Beam will KO it. Okay, just kidding. I forgot that it's Slugma. I might actually use the good rod, just so it's maybe a higher level, because I think it's still... Let me check. Yeah, my cargo is super rod only, so I'll go ahead and use the good rod here. Just get a little bit higher level one that doesn't die immediately. Oh, I never noticed that the different rods are, like, longer. The good rod is longer than the old rod. That's interesting. There we go. Much uh, more competent. I love how Ice Beam looks in this generation. I forgot how cool it is. Uh, so, the reason I'm catching Slugma, if you may know from future generations, uh, Slugma has the ability Magma Armor, which some of the abilities, when they introduced them, they gave, they gave the abilities, uh, some of the abilities, an effect outside of battle. Some of those are integrated here into Crystal Clear, not the ability themselves, but their outside of battle effect on certain Pokemon. And you'd be like, well, that's kind of random, Stelmo. Like, how can I find out this information? If you go into Saffron City, there is a house there that has all of the information on what Pokemon have different abilities. So, uh, Magma Armor is one which, when used outside of battle in future generations, it makes eggs hatch faster. Um, additionally, there's one for Compound Eyes, which increases the likelihood that, uh, held items will be on wild Pokemon, so you can kind of see where I'm going with this. Uh, I'm just trying to do this to get this egg out of my party. Uh, we need to head to Goldenrod. And I'm gonna grab Slugma and just put Channel of Sonic in the box for a moment, since, uh... They do need to be in the lead in order for their pseudo-ability to work. I don't know if I mentioned it, but it's called pseudo-abilities here. Uh, I think there's another one called... Or there's another one that's like suction cups. Where certain Pokemon are, uh, make it to where it's more likely for you to catch a fish. I think the normal odds are like 50-50 or something like that. Whoops, I totally wasn't gonna do that, but whatever. All right, so Slugma's in front, so now we're gonna be able to hatch eggs half in half the time. And what I'm going to do real quickly is that if we come down here, I'm going to use the sword on this grass here. Where's the sword at? There it is. This grass won't grow back so easily. Still wanna cut it? Yes. So these two grass tiles in particular, if you didn't know, on any blades of grass, you can use cut or use the sword and it will just erase the grass, but if you leave the route and come back, the grass will be back. These two tiles, though, uh, they only come back if you water them with a squirt bottle, and that way it makes daycare really easy. 
Another quality of life thing is that all of the NPCs that were in the way here in Goldenrod are also moved. So that you can just run back and forth really easily. Now, I would get on the bike here, but like I said, uh, Crystal Clear adds the running shoes. So this is our normal walking speed, and then this is the running shoe speed. Running shoe speed, I believe it's either the same as the bike or it's faster. Which is really nice because it allows us to still move very quickly through the game. Uh, with out having to use the bike and be able to have our follower and hear the music and stuff. It's honestly at this point kind of weird to see the character moving this slowly, but this is the normal walking speed of the game. <laughs> Been so long. Cuz I have it uh I have it set to inverted. After uh this egg hatches, I'm going to take a small break. Stand up, stretch, and probably not get myself a snack because I'm not hungry, but I'll go to the bathroom definitely. Get to show off this game. I am very happy as well. It's really awesome. It is very cool. I highly recommend it. You can get it for free. It's a snack of hydration. I got my hydration station right here. Yeah, Crystal Clear is super cool. Highly recommend trying it. Wow. I thought actually some gift eggs you get in this game uh, come like pre-made to where it doesn't take that many steps to hatch them. But uh, I think that's Ditto Egg. Ah, good one, Channel of Sonic. I mean, it's just like one of those things, you know, with like almost any, not any fan project, but with like fan projects, it's like Crystal Clear is literally Gen 2 better than you remembered it. <laughs> like, it's just so fun to be able to go around Johto and Kano in whatever order you want. And there's so many cool Easter eggs and like different events and added stuff and, and twists to the old stuff as well. Like, it's just all so neat. Like, the ability to have your own goddamn trainer that uh, Lima made for us, of my own custom trainer. So neat. Huh? Let's see what this egg is. A ditto, but it's shiny. Um, so uh, if you don't remember, this was the this was from the added house in Route uh, 24 that we got earlier. Um, if you have at least two gym badges, or if you only defeat Misty, you can get a shiny ditto. Um, because um, breeding without breeding works. Uh, in Generation Two specifically. Uh, if you breed a shiny ditto with a parent that has a different original trainer ID, there is a 1 in 64 chance that, chance that the offspring will be a shiny Pokemon. So, peek, 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 hi, pipe, pipe. Is that like a meme? I thought that was just something that like Jay said during our uh, Superstars playthrough. I didn't know that was like a whole meme. House and subs for me to reveal my birthday is crazy. It is crazy. But uh, I set the goals, so. We hit so many goals. Like, it, it was awesome. I, I'm very happy for it. The only reason the goals are still around is because of, um, nice. Whoop. Yo, Joss! Thank you so much for resubscribing with Prime for 16 months, dude. I'm honored to be your Prime Gaming Streamer. I only got one of those. Appreciate you using it here. Enjoy that gem of those emotes, and thanks for supporting for so long. Two away from that blue gem. Crazy stuff, dude. Thank you so much. All right, who do I need? I need to get rid of you. I'm going to keep you here just in case I need more eggs for whatever reason. I guess I'll also put a ditto over here if I want to do any shiny breeding, but... We talked about it yesterday while I was hunting for the shiny Clefairy. Is that, like, 
you get a one in six. So when you have a uh, chaining, because uh, crystal clear adds like chaining, sort of like Gen Four with the Pokey Radar, to make finding shinies a little bit easier, as well as uh, max IV or DV Pokemon. Um, gosh, what am I trying to say? Oh, I need Swine Up. That's who I'm missing. I was like, I should have six Pokemon. Um, but even though it's a 1 in 64 for breeding, breeding takes longer than just chaining. Yes, you are correct. In all caps. You are correct. Pig mess, that's what we need. All right, it's all coming together. <laughs> Real quick. We need sweet scent. Okay. So the next thing I need to do, this is all to set up. <laughs> Something that honestly, if I didn't do all of this, I Heracross would probably be on level with the rest of our team right now. But this is something that I'm gonna need to do anyway. If uh, people keep subbing and we start having to swap out team members uh, for new Pokemon, depending on how people sub, uh, we're gonna have to do this. So there's a particular Pokemon I'm looking for here. Uh, spoilers, it's Butterfree. <laughs> Uh, so some of the wild data was changed to make some Pokemon easier to find. Okay, uh, Butterfree is not available at night. That's what I was looking for. So the reason that I want Butterfree is like how I talked about with Slugma, which is why I wanted to get rid of the, the egg in my party so I could introduce pseudo abilities, is that with, um... Oh, whoops, that was the wrong button combination. Yo, what's up, Stashan? How you doing? It is very professional. Pokemon XD, I uh, I like Pokemon XD as well. I think it's fun. It's just the problem that XD and Coliseum suffer from is that they're so slow. Like if you think Gen 4 is slow, like, cool. <laughs> Quite good, good to hear. Glad to see a Hall of Famer in the building. Let's say I need it to be daytime, so that works. Morning or day, it doesn't really matter. All right, let's sweet scent for Butterfree real quick. I'm gonna have to catch it too. Mm. Unfortunately, I don't have a uh, Tyranitar on me, but that's fine. Okay, I'm actually gonna swap out uh, Channel of Sonic here <laughs> because Ivysaur's cry is shorter, so this will go a little bit faster. Freezer food variety? Let's go, dude. No shame in freezer food mac and cheese. Wow, that was very fast. Okay. So, with what I was talking about uh, beforehand is that... Um, just like how there's the pseudo ability to hatch eggs faster, a uh, Butterfree and a bunch of other Pokemon in this game have the compound eyes ability. Uh, well, not the actual ability, but the ability to make it more likely to find hel held items on wild Pokemon. Dude, when you when you do sweet scent uh, farming, like, yeah. Like, some Pokemon cries in this game are just absurdly long, and it's very annoying. Hopefully, this shouldn't kill it. Nice, that's perfect. All right, because we are a higher level than this Butterfree, uh, our level balls, uh, I mean, I guess we can use the Ultra Ball too. It doesn't matter. The level ball and the Ultra Ball have the same catch rate right now, so. You know, I think I just thought about, I'm gonna catch this Butterfree anyway, just in case. I think the Compound Eye pseudo ability was added to Swine Up. I'm gonna have to double check that. But uh, that'd be really funny if I did all this work for Butterfree and then turns out Swine Up had it anyway. God damn it. All right, see ya, Matios. Thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, I'm just gonna switch to Oven and Paralyze this thing. Because I don't have to constantly switch back out to Ivysaur. And Ivysaur, the only thing Butterfree knows here is... Uh, Fusion, so yeah, it's gonna destroy 
Ivysaur. We mess with Sleep Powder. Yo, what's up, Pedrooks? Welcome to the stream, dude. Come on. Hey, what up, Lima? Welcome back. Hope you guys are doing well. You fighting gym leaders? We've already fought three gym leaders. You can see my badges in the bottom left. All right, so level balls. Hopefully we catch this thing. Dang, man. How low is this thing's catch rate? It's like a, like a legendary right now. Oh. Yeah, we caught, uh, so far this stream, we've caught Articuno, we've caught Zapdos, we've caught three gym leaders, uh, and we're also using our fourth team member, Heracross, who was my pick, because Heracross covers a lot of weaknesses our team has. Our team overall is pretty slow, but it, uh, can hit kind of hard, and Heracross is going to be our physical attacker as well. The only thing we don't really have an answer to is fighting types. However, Ivysaur resists fighting types, so that kind of helps. And fighting types tend to have low, uh... Sounds like NES. I mean, the Game Boy Color is 8-bit, so makes sense. If I join here later, hey, it's all good, man. I appreciate you being here, uh, but only be here if you want to be here. I always say. All right, I said I was going to take a break, wasn't I? I'm going to go ahead and take my break now, just so I force myself to. Because I I feel like the streams usually end up better when I um take a break. But I am going to fly to Saffron City real quick. All right, guys, it's going to be a super short break, like one to two minutes. I'm just going to stand up, stretch my legs, probably refill my water. No break. Yeah, no break, streamer. Give me 16 hour streams right now. Don't leave that chair. I'll be right back, chat. Alrighty, guys, welcome back. Thank you for being patient on that break. All right, I am going to check to see if catching Butterfree was a waste of time. So here's the house that lets you know um, all of the different pseudo abilities, as well as this guy. You can select a Pokemon in the Pokedex. And he will tell you if the Pokemon has held items you find in the wild, so... That's just for example, there is a Pokemon that I know has... ...a wild held item. That would be... Pikachu. Oh, uh, that's Raichu. Pikachu. So if I have Pikachu selected... Rarely, it can be found holding a berry. So I believe if that... If it has a 5% chance to be holding it, he's gonna say rarely. Um, if it has a 15, I think the normal odds are 15 and 5, and then the compound eye pseudo ability makes it 80% and 20%, so you definitely want that. Um, I think he just says, like, commonly or something. And then there's a couple things, like, uh, Growlithe and Vulpix always hold a Rostberry and stuff like that as well, so it's a cool way to see. Uh, PCs are more likely to spot other wild Pokemon with held items. Butterfree, Venonat, Yanma, Togepi, Murkrow, Ladyba, Lady, and Magneton. Magneton? I didn't know about that. I have a Magneton on my personal save. Wow, there are a lot of Pokemon that can do this. Slowking? Okay, so we did need Butterfree. Uh, Swinub does something, though. I'm looking at the other ones. A lot more Pokemon while fishing. I think that they're in order. It's not that one. Hatch eggs faster. That's what we got Slugma for. Pick up rare items while following the trainer. Oh, that's what Swine Up is for. Gotcha. You can have randomizers? No. But what this game does have... Thanks for the hydrate. It was fine. Glad to hear, dude. Um, what was I about to say? Uh, it doesn't have randomizers, but this game has a built-in Nuzlocke mode, which is really cool, and depending on how successful this playthrough is, I might, uh, toss in, like, a crystal clear Nuzlocke playthrough at some point. 
Bonzo 720 from the 100 facts video, it's true. Uh, we don't need to be in here. Uh, I don't need anything else. Um, so we need to grab Butterfree. And this is gonna be awkward. One of our main party is gonna have to leave. All right, see you, Pedrooks. Good luck with your uh, job stuff, man. That's exciting. I want to go to Fuchsia. From the Mario Kart streams, that's also true. He's just everywhere. Bum, 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 bum. Okay. This is worldwide, yeah. Exactly. Okay, let's go ahead and grab Butterfree. Well, we can't do that yet. Whoops. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put, uh, Channel of Sonic away for a moment. Grab Butterfree. So, it works just like in later generations where, um, Butterf- Oh, wait. Shit, I need Channel of Sonic. Ugh. The Pokemon, not the, uh, viewer. Uh, because Channel of Sonic has Thief. So, if you put the pieces together, we are using Butterfree to increase the odds of Chansey that we can find in the Safari Zone having the lucky egg on them. And then we are going to uh, use the Dex Tracker to chain Chansey, which makes them appear every single battle, and we're going to try to get a lucky egg uh, from them. So we actually don't need you right now. Oh my god, I put him in the wrong box. I do this every time. Um, I'm also going to put... We don't actually need Heracross for anything at the moment, so I'll put him away for now. So, I want to grab Iranitar. And I want to grab a Channel of Sonic. I actually don't know if Tyranitar can learn Thief. Let me check that real quick, because that would be extremely convenient, but I don't believe it can. It is a dark type, though, so it's a possible possibility. Crash, Earthquake. Come on, baby, show me Thief. Uh, nope. Unless it learns it from the Battle Tutor. I can actually see what Pokemon can learn Thief. So, I actually forgot to mention that Butterfree is super sick with the Battle Tutor. Butterfree can learn... Fly, it can learn Ice Beam, it can learn Spore, which is a 100% accurate sleep move, Thunderbolt, False Swipe, and Thief. It's kind of insane. Uh, but unfortunately, Butterfree is like a super low level. So, we're just gonna have to do a little bit of a sort of annoying thing here where I'm going to have to. This game rebalanced. It's, I would say it's balanced differently. This is, this game isn't intended, I guess maybe outside of Nuzlocke mode, because Nuzlocke's are inherently more difficult the in, than the Intor SLP. I don't know what SLP is. Sleep? Sleep is really good, yeah. Uh, Crystal Clear is not intended to be a difficulty hack, it's just intended to be an expansion on top of Gen 2. Um, there are some areas in the game where things are, like, rebalanced, but I mean, like, the answer- the short answer to your question is yes, the game is rebalanced. The long answer is that it's rebalanced, given the nature of the fact that it's open world Gen 2, and you can go anywhere and fight anything that you want at any point in the game. So, like, all the gym leaders are rebalanced for when you fight them, uh, Legendary encounters are rebalanced for when you fight them and that kind of thing in that way But it's not like rebalanced to be more fair or moves have different accuracy and stuff all the moves all of the Pokemon stats all of that is vanilla Um, okay, so I need to put you out at the front first Yeah, I hope that makes sense
Because you can absolutely break this game really fast. Like, we could solo all the way. Like, we could solo eight gym leaders and beat the Elite Four with just Tyranitar. Okay, I believe this is the correct area. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Dex Tracker real quick. Oh, it's already on. Nice. I'm going to go ahead and add the menu account. A nice thing is that Shock Slayer made it to where you can have all these different, like, things appear on the menu. I normally play with l none, but when I use the Dex Tracker, I like to turn it on. And what I'm trying to do right now is look for footprints. Because Chansey can have footprints, and... If we, uh, find Chansey Footprints, we can automatically start chaining it at a high, um, at a high encounter. Chaining is kind of like the Pokey Radar from Generation 4. Uh, that's Chansey Footprints right there. Uh, the more times you defeat the Pokemon you're currently chaining, the more likely it is to appear and the better stats it'll have. Oh, nice, we encountered a Chansey anyway. Unfortunately, this Chansey won't have increased odds to have the Lucky Egg, but... Let me switch here. We should be able to survive a hit from it. I, at least I hope Vaporeon can. Alright, great. It didn't use an attacking move. Okay, bro. <laughs> Beautiful. As for shits and giggles, you got anything? Could have probably given Channel of Sonic the smoke ball, but whatever. When we, um... When we have Butterfree out front, uh... Chansey's gonna have an 80% chance to have the Lucky Egg, so I'm not really worried about finding it in a short time. The Lucky Egg also sells for 490, so it's a... fair... way to grind. Oh, I was supposed to defeat that Chansey. Shoot. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and grind for more footprints because it's just gonna make our life way easier if we do. Do, do, do. Oh, nice. I believe this is Scyther. Do the whole rigmarole here. Yay. Yeah, sometimes when you interact with footprints, you can get an automatic encounter, which is kind of nice for Pokédex completion, but I'm looking to chain multiple Chansey. I don't believe this is yeah, more Scyther. What I'm doing here is that the Savari Zone is Crystal Clear tries to hide it, but it's actually a bunch of different maps. So what I'm doing is going to the map point to reset uh, footprints, because footprints uh, change every time you go in and out of the map. You can see the game stutter for a second. That means it's changing maps. Or uh, Footprints also randomly generate when you run from a wild encounter or you finish a wild encounter, so... Uh, I think this is Scyther Footprints again. Oh, nice. Yeah, start tracking, Chansey. So we automatically start at a 25 chain, which is nice. Also, in the Savari Zone, we get extra rerolls. Uh, Reroll just means higher number, more uh, chances to find better stuff. So now, it's not guaranteed we'll find Chansey with an encounter, but it's pretty damn likely at this point. So. Alright, switch to channel of Sonic. Oh my god, the present blew up. Wow, much damage. Very well. So, Channel of Sonic's gonna gain some levels here because, uh... Chansey has a very high experience yield. Um, honestly, it's... I need to give Channel of Sonic a smoke ball. This is gonna be annoying otherwise because I'll have to do an extra switch in. So I'm just gonna run, uh, since we're extremely likely to find Chansey, since we're at a chain of 25 right now from the footprints. Uh, so I don't really need to increase the chain anymore. Okay. Really blew up? He did. Smoke ball. I probably should have just given Butterfree Thief, since 
Uh, Chansey does such low damage anyway. Physical damage, I mean. That's not a Chansey. Can I run? Damn. Well, actually, Butterfree getting KO'd is a good thing. Works for me. There you go. Yep, we unlocked uh, the City Escape music earlier in the uh, stream today. Yeah, dude, it's Sonic! <gasps> oh my god! Steal the Lucky Egg, let's go. So a really nice thing about Thief is that in Crystal Clear, this is actually... This was added in in one of the most, like, recent updates to the game. Uh, like I said yesterday, Crystal Clear is mostly complete, and there probably won't be another update to the game. But, uh... A nice thing about Thief is that you don't have to not... I should have said this earlier, but you don't have to have a hold item on your Pokemon. Hyper Beam! <laughs> you don't have to have a hold item on your Pokemon. Uh, it'll just fall off the Pokemon and you'll pick it up after the battle. Like we're about to. Picked up the Lucky Egg. All right. So, all of the last, like, half an hour of setup was so that I could get the Lucky Egg to make Heracross stronger faster. So, uh... I don't have a Pokemon with Fly on it, because I deposited Lugia, because I'm a very smart individual. Yeah, Hyper Beam has a great animation in this game, it's so good. No, Butterfree! Anyway... Go ahead and throw Tyrant. At well, actually, we have the Smoke Ball and Vaporeon, so it doesn't matter. Uh, let's GTFO. Wiggler? Yanma! Looking like Wiggler? Wow, that is a really good Chansey. Poor defense, but defense doesn't really matter when you're using Chansey. All about that special defense. You know, that's interesting. So Clefable is honestly just a... Not really a worse Chansey because it has better uh, type coverage, but... What am I doing now? I am going to try to face Whitney's gym and get hair across some levels. Actually, no. That's not what I'm going to do because I can show off a mechanic. It might not be good, but uh, we'll try. Show this off. All right, let's get our normal team back out. This is what I love about Crystal Clear is that you can just do like half an hour, hour-long sidetracks, and you just, like, forget. Like, that's when I feel like an open world is just, like, truly good, when you can just, like, get so lost in it, in whatever you're doing. There's no room. I'll be damned. Like that. Hill tank scares you? Yeah. So, Heracross has Karate Chop, and we're going to give it the Lucky Egg. It's a good game for a newbie? Uh, I mean, you can play it. I guess, I guess, yes. Like, I think it's fun no matter what, and the Pokédex here has literally all the information you'd ever need. So, what you can do uh, when you first boot up the game is you can go into the Pokédex and go to Options and go to the setting of Dex does not require scene data and enable it. So that way, literally from the get-go, you can see every single Pokemon in the game. And with Pokemon in this game, or in this Pokedex, you can literally see everything about it. You can read its uh, Pokedex blurb if you want to. You can see its evolutionary line. You can see what types it resists, what types it's good against. Um, you can... Uh, see its catch rate, how much EXP it gives, all that. Uh, you can see its base stats. Um, and you can compare it between other Pokemon as well. 
Uh, you can see what moves it learns. Like, you can do a whole bunch of stuff with this uh, Pokédex. You can see exactly where they can be caught, like if you do the search function. You can see where they're caught, and you can see percentages and stuff as well. Yeah, it's the... the Pokédex in this game is incredible. Like, it's an incredible piece of programming. I'm so impressed by it. Because this this has the same limitations as regular Pokémon Crystal. Like, it's made via the same, like, hardware and with the limitations, because Crystal Clear doesn't have a lot of room left on the cartridge. Okay. We're gonna go to Goldenrod. No, we're not going to Goldenrod. We're gonna go to Olivine. My bad. So let's head to Olivine City. And one thing I'm gonna show off that's really cool is that when you defeat a gym leader, you can refight them as many times as you want. And a cool thing is that if I can find the gym. So you talk to the statue in any gym that you've already defeated. Would you like to re-challenge this gym? Yes. What set would you like to challenge? So current means that if I were to select this setting, it would treat it as if Jasmine was my fourth gym leader. Similarly, there's set three, as if she were my third gym leader, second gym leader, first gym leader, and then, uh, oh, but that's it. Set one is the lowest. Uh, so it's really cool. Uh, and it's all the way up to 16, but we can't access 16 or anything above, we can't access anything above three right now. Or above four, technically. Um, I didn't mean to do that. You can also cancel this as well. It's been canceled. Great way to farm money and farm experience, which is what we're going to do with Heracross. We're going to refight set one. Uh, because all she has with set one is a level 10 Steelix with not great moves from what I remember. Steelix is pretty high defense, but we are super effective and we get stabbed from Karate Chop and Critical Chance. So Steelix also gives a good amount of EXP. And in addition to that, uh, we have the Lucky Egg, which gives us 1.5 times experience. So hopefully this will do. Uh-oh. <laughs> Alright, Heracross might need some help. <laughs> Oops. Um, I mean, Felix does have base 200 defense, which I think is the highest in the game, so... Maybe I was a bit overzealous <laughs> with that. Well done, thanks. So let's try that again. Uh, but a cool thing is that when you re-challenge a gym, it fully heals your party, so you don't have to go back to the Pokemon Center every single time. All right, let's try this again without getting completely destroyed. I imagine once we get a few levels on Heracross, we are going to uh, be able to start obliterating uh, Steelix here. I might turn the battle animations off just since we're grinding right now. And it'll make things go just a little bit faster. But yeah, this is a really cool mechanic. This is a really cool mechanic, what I was trying to say. Uh, horn attack? That's not better than strength, so... Yes, these are all the base game animations. Uh, but you can turn them on and off. Which is what I'm gonna do right now. Analonyms off. So now that we're two levels higher, we might. Looks impressive. Well, I mean, that's just uh, base Pokemon Crystal. All the battle animations and stuff. Oh, also, I completely forgot to mention with gym leaders is that uh, in this game, they have like a little thing that they say uh, on their final Pokemon. But, uh, Jasmine only has one Pokemon, so. What's up, Arrhaeus? How you doing? Hopefully this KOs? Damn. Uh, hopefully this doesn't kill us, because we're two levels higher? Come on, man! Heracross, you're supposed to be good defensively. What's going on, pal? 
Hey, you can see how much faster the battles are when you don't have animations on. Iron Tails hurt IRL. Yeah, especially coming from a 27-foot rock snake. I shouldn't be surprised that uh, Aerocross is kicking the bucket here, but I had a I had faith. So we're probably gonna need to switch train a little bit more before Heracross can uh, start holding its own. I thought this was gonna be a good idea, but Steelix unfortunately is Steelix. It's meant to be a defensive wall, so. I almost considered using Steelix instead of Heracross, but Steelix is also one of the slowest Pokemon in the game, and our team right now is definitely not known for its speed. True. A nice thing is this is also a great way for us to get money. Woo. Maybe now we can survive an Iron Tail. Yeah, we're getting an extra 1,000 Poke Dollars for every fight. When you defeat all 16 gym leaders, you can get so much money so fast, it's ridiculous. Predict on if he lives? I don't know if there are enough people here to make a prediction interesting, I'll be honest with you. <laughs> but I mean, if you really want it. Oh uh, yeah, I didn't change the tags from uh, Overrider. That's my bad. Dang, everyone's gonna be so... Everyone's gonna be so confused. Because that's how everyone finds stuff in Twitch, is through the tags. <laughs> the tag system. Hey! Aww. <laughs> that's too bad. Confused always. I am always confused. Especially with Twitch chat, I get very confused a lot. Is Chad Gamer? Alright, I'll go ahead and change the tags real quick. Let's see what other awesome uh, tags there are. Actually, I think I can type whatever I want. <laughs> That's amazing! Oh, damn, I can't do that. That sucks. <laughs> Alright, I think those are pretty good. Uh, all right, Heracross, you got this, bud. This is your time to shine. <laughs> Please. Jasmine is actually not a great gym leader to refight. She's just the best we have re right now, at least from what I understand about the different teams. Oh my god. All right, well, it survived, so we'll get you out of there, buddy. I just, uh, I just changed the tags. You probably have to refresh the stream window in order for the new tags to show up. But they are different now. Don't worry. Don't fret, young one. I'm trying to think, Lima, if there are any, like, better way to show the glasses. I guess you can kind of see them. Maybe if the glasses were black. Hell yeah. <laughs> I didn't know it was a tag, but it is now. It's true, though. Maybe the eyes could be gray. 
Oh, uh, yeah, but you can't. Oh, yeah, that's right. I didn't think about that. Yeah. Never mind. What? How did you not survive that time? Heracross, my man. Dude, what is a Niv talking about right now? Yo, thanks for the posture check. I think I actually need it. Look a bit different from the base game? Well, I mean, on the up sprite, it looks a bit different. I mean, the thing is, is that I look very similar to how gold does already, so it's not, like, a big change. I think that this, this is probably my favorite, the, uh, the back sprite. It looks good. Alright, Heracross. We also need to give Heracross a name. That's not, like, garbage. I'll leave it- I'll leave it to chat to do it. Oh, I probably got a defense drop. Alright. No! Scoptical? What does it mean? <laughs> I've never seen that word before. I'm interrogating. <laughs> so I know what it means. Lime across? I mean, I could name it Lima Green as a thanks for making the uh, the character sprite. That doesn't sound like a bad idea. Like I said, when we rechallenge a gym, we get a full heal, so I don't have to go to the Pokemon Center or anything. Probably gonna go to like level thirteen. Uh, no, I should probably do level 15 at least, because the gym trainers will help us get to where the rest of the team is sitting at right now. I could also, you know, go on routes and explore the world, I guess. We'll do that after uh, the fourth gym leader, so that way the trainers on those routes are a little bit stronger than us. Make them a little bit interesting. All right. <laughs> Iron Tail doesn't blow my face off anymore. No! Stop doing that! I need you to just get KO'd, please. Pretty please. What's great is that the Pokemon that's actually the proper typing to deal with Steelix is the only Pokemon that can't deal with Steelix on the team. <laughs> I love that. That's amazing. All my other Pokemon can one-shot the Steelix. It's super funny. Is it being named after me? Uh, if you would like to name it, that's fine with me. Something something well-tempered steel, something something. Good crit. I don't think she's gonna hyper potion. She hyper potion. Well, if she doesn't have two hyper potions, we can three shot this thing unless we get a crit here. Oh my god. The dream! Let's go! Heracross is first. First triumph over this Steelix, man. Oh my god. Incredible. Oh, that's right. Uh, had the smoke ball. Thought I had the amulet coin. But, uh, if it isn't clear why money is basically a non issue at this point, money is basically a non issue at this point since we can just re challenge gym leaders and her gyms and get a bunch of money. Pretty great. In a moment here, I might try to fight set two. 
Hey, it's part of being a gym leader. It's part of her duty as a gym leader for me to repeatedly destroy her over and over again. I would think if this mechanic were legitimately in a Pokemon game, I think maybe it would be after a certain amount of badges, like after three badges you could go back, because I mean like... Or maybe you couldn't get... I think it could make sense to not get the experience because you're technically fighting the same thing or something like that, I don't know. Want steak for dinner? Then get you some steak for dinner, Cookie. You don't need me to tell you that. Alright, now we can shoot two shot the Steelix, thank goodness. I think there's some weird thing mechanically, I don't know if it's with just Gen 2 or with Pokemon in general, that I believe you get like a huge attack boost every level that ends in 2, 5, and 7, I think? That's probably wrong. Steak tacos? Steak tacos sounds absolutely delicious right now. <laughs> Hit up the door dash, Haley. We did shake on it. That's true. We're halfway through the week. We're almost there. <laughs> that GDQ thing? We know if Project 06 is in GDQ on April 27th. I'll know whether or not the run was accepted or denied. We'll get your steak from Aldi? Let's go, dude. Honestly, just get like a beef tenderloin from Aldi. They have great beef tenderloin flavors. But I guess that's not as uh, immediate. Four weeks? Uh, you mean two and a half? <laughs> Close enough. Hey! Mountain! I agree. <laughs> the beef mountain! Yeah, we'll see. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, to e I'm gonna, if it's not in SGDQ, I'm gonna email them and ask them, like, what was wrong with it and what to fix for my next submission video. If it doesn't make it in, because at this point, I don't know what I would do differently submission video-wise. Okay. Uh, we don't need the dex tracker right now, so I'm actually gonna disable it. Uh, cause maybe we'll need the Chansey cracking, uh, again. What is wrong with that? I mean, I just, like, don't know. Maybe more comment? There are... There are submission videos that have, like, 300 views and two comments that they accept in the GDQ, so I don't think it's the amount of comments. I'm sure it helps, but I don't think that's what they're looking for in the, uh, in the submission video. Because a lot of times, people have their submission videos as unlisted, so... I just made it public, because... More commentary? I mean, I'm talking the entire time in every single one of those runs. Hey, they just hate PO6. There is a part of me that's like you know, fan game and stuff, but they've had Sonic Robo Blast 2 at GDQ. And they've had Mario ROM hacks and uh, fan games as well. They even had a Mega Man fan game. What was it called? It was like one where you could play as like Mega Man, Proto Man, and Bass. Like called like Mega Man Unlimited. 
I think was the name of it. I was like, they're definitely not against fan projects and stuff. I don't know. They've had Sanic Ball. That's right. Sanic Ball was one. All right. We're a competent enough level. We're going to go face Whitney now. We got Karate Chop. That's all we need. What I might actually do is teach, uh, teach Heracross Cross Chop. Just as a backup in case Karate Chop isn't doing enough damage, because Cross Chop is 120 power. Do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, whoops. The, the battle tutor. Give her to tackle. I'm never going to use tackle for anything since we have strength. I'm actually curious, can Lugia learn anything from the Battle Tutor? Really? That is a surprising amount of moves. I did not expect that. I don't know. See, the thing is, is like, I don't want to like sit and be skeptical on it because it really doesn't matter and I'd rather just ask them directly what the issue is. But obviously, if it's accepted, then we'll know. <laughs> Alright, what's the level cap? This is Gym 4. 25? We got this. Well, because the that... I feel like whenever you're skeptical of that kind of thing, it's like that it, it always builds resentment if it doesn't come out like the way that you want it to. See, that's another thing, too, is that I would imagine... I don't know how many people are, like, on the team of people who look at the submissions, but maybe they just straight up don't see it, because, like, 5,000 games... I could actually probably look and see the total while we're sitting here doing this. Uh, unfortunately, I can't control the game out of focus. No, Fury Swipes! Yo, where was the noise there? That was weird. Oh, I actually still have the Lucky Egg on Heracross. I'll get it to level 19 and then take it off, put on the Amulet Coin instead. We're also kind of getting owned by this girl. Maybe Karate Chop isn't the dream. <laughs> I can't think of a good fighting type move in Gen 2 that's between Karate Chop and Cross Chop, though. What's crazy is that I don't think that um, Heracross learned Karate Chop naturally. Hold on, maybe it does. No, it doesn't. Mega Horn's a great move, level 54. We'll get there. <laughs> Let's actually see. Submission's still pending, that makes sense. Um, S E D Q. Sorry, VOD watchers, not not sorry. Um, 1,456 games were submitted. Let's actually check if I can find a Project 06. Hey, we can find it. I'm curious, let me search up Sonic. Sonic CD Restored, that's cool. Sonic in the Secret Ring. Shadow the Hedgehog would be cool. Shadow the Hedgehog. They're doing like a relay. Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Sonic 06. Nice. A bunch of the relays seem to be coming out. There's Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Heroes. Sonic Frontiers, all gold medals. Oh. DX, Knuckles Story, go for the goal. Sonic 3 and Knuckles, all emeralds. That's cool. Any of Plus, Origins. Sonic Battle. Snolf Robo Blast 2. Nice. Wow, lots of Sonic runs. For 
there's mine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, who knows? Probably won't happen. Gonna go heal up here across here. This part of the VOD will be hilarious in hindsight, though, if we do get accepted. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Be good, Sonic. Alright, after this trainer, I'm dropping the lucky egg and for the amulet coin. The lucky egg was a long term plan, in case I have to, like, switch out team members because of the sub goals and stuff. Oh, this is a nice Pokemon to fight against. Now we're really starting to hit that uh that hump now. Ooh, Fury Attack would be kind of fun. Fury Attack's actually a pretty strong move. I'm definitely never using Leer, so Fury Attack, you're you're in right now. Samantha. Oh, nice. It used payday, so we got an extra $42. Okay. Coin. Here you go, buddy. I just don't want Heracross to get too strong. Woo, Grand Bull. That's cool. That's what I love about the scaling gyms as well, is that, like... Oh, I forgot to turn battle animations back on. No! It's so sad. We can't see the cool animations. I'm just gonna strength to conserve PP, even though I don't really need to conserve PP, I don't think. The thing that does happen with scaling gyms, though, is that, uh... Your levels can get out of hand really fast, because you're fighting stronger Pokémon that have higher experience yields. Um, let me turn those battle animations back on. Playing Generation 5 with the battle animations off is so fast. Like, it's ridiculously fast. Jigglypuff. Nothing Karate Chop can't handle. The only problem with my strategy here against Whitney is that if I don't, if I lose Heracross, we're kind of not gonna be okay. <laughs> I mean, we do have Sludge Bomb and Sleep Powder. We have we have Sludge Bomb, Sleep Powder, and Leech Seed on Ivysaur, so I guess it's not all bad. Wrecking these Jigglypuffs, though. Last Bridget. But I am going to save before Whitney because I am a little worried. We're gonna get destroyed. Alright, let's do it. Will the milk tank be the milk tank that it is? I imagine this is going to be a similar fight to Vanilla, since we're here around the same time. Just use Cross Chop. Why not? As long as it hits, we're going to be good. Cool animation, too. Oh, baby. Here we go. Not scary yet. Let's see how much Cross Chop does. Oh! Critical hit, too! See ya, milk tank. You ain't losing? I don't know about that one, chief. Looks like we got this in the bag. Clean sweep on Whitney.
5,000 Pokey, nice. You meanie. What I love about this is that she, the trainer there doesn't stop you every time, so you can just leave without getting the badge, which is hilarious. Ba -da -da. Okay, the only real... I'm trying to think, the only real Pokemon type that I don't really have an answer for at the moment because Heracross doesn't have Mega Horn is... Um... Uh, psychic types. He doesn't learn Megahorn to level 54. However, I might look something up between this part and the next part. So, there are, just like how there's the move reminder in the modification station, if we go to Vermilion City, we can actually give um, special items. Oh, also, we have more uh, TMs, so I might go look at that actually. Cerulean Cave, an unsafe area. I ain't going to Cerulean Cave. The Pokemon are a little strong there. Um, but anyway, what I was trying to say... I actually don't remember what I was trying to say, so... Oh, well. <laughs> Oops, we'll keep the amulet coin on Heracross, should we need it for anything. I'm actually gonna switch over to... Yes. Is Joss still here? Joss, did you ever pick what follower you wanted? Let's go check out what TMs we can buy now. I think it's the next floor? Oh. Maybe it's just floor two? Nope. Oh god, where is it? Maybe it was this one? I think it's this one. Yeah. Four badges. Check out set two. Roll out, roar, psych up, snore, endure, dig. Got a good double team, swagger, sludge bomb, but we already have sludge bomb. Thief, that's nice. I'm um, actually, uh, we haven't used our thief TM yet. Never mind. Three meter, that's nice. We don't have, we do have sleep powder, but I don't think that Ivysaur can learn that. Uh, we can get Ice Punch, we can get Fire Punch, Thunder Punch. Also, Crystal Clear added to where you could actually see the TM that you're buying before you buy it, which is nice. Uh, Headbutt would be useful if we didn't have Strength on Heracross. Headbutt can flinch, but Heracross is usually seeking to one-hit KO Pokemon anyway, so... Uh, oh, what I was talking about is that there are two special move tutors called the Egg Move Tutor and the Future Move Tutor. They require special items in order to actually teach your Pokemon the moves. Um, one of them we have. We have the Gold Leaf. Uh, that can be used with the Egg Move Tutor, so we can teach one of our Pokemon uh, one of their egg moves. Um, and I believe it's this, just the Silver Leaf can teach Pokemon uh, moves that they learn in the future. So we could... If we have one, and I think I might have an idea, uh, because we got the gold leaf from one of the unknown we caught in Alf Forest, and the other unknown were also holding items. So, I'm curious to see. You have nothing. You had the gold leaf. Silver leaf! Mystic water. So, I'm actually going to uh, put you in my party for a moment. So let's get someone out of here. A hair across. Yeah. Uh, also, Lima, if you're still here, I need to know what um, you want to name Heracross. Go ahead and grab this silver leaf. What do I want to get rid of for Mega Horn? Probably Fury Attack. <laughs> Oops. Whatever. Uh, normally. Uh, there are certain Pokemon that hold the Silver Leaf, and combined with Chaining and Compound Eyes, we could get a lot that way. Uh, but I don't actually know what Pokemon they are. Donda Binga, that's too many, uh, letters. I believe you only have... I want to say ten characters. And I can't use numbers in Gen 2. It doesn't allow you to name with numbers. 
Mama, Mama Mima? Or Mama Mima? How you say it? Alright. Mooma Mima. Interesting. <laughs> Alright. I have Heracross follow us for a minute since uh, Joss isn't here to tell me. Wow, that's actually a cool sprite. Yo, what's up, Dr. Boson? I'm sorry, dude. It's okay, that's what the VODs are for, my man. Hopefully this fits. I think it should. It's a fairly decent name, but how about a better one? You got it. Uh, Ma... Moo... Ma... Me... Uh. Oh, we have, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, we have ten. Just eight letters. Mooma Mima, what a, what a name. <laughs> Alright. Um, let's head to... Vermilion City to, uh, use the Future Move Tutor and get Megahorn, so that way we can deal with Psychic types. I could get rid of Strength. Because I can always reteach Strength. I can also reteach Fury Attack whenever I want to. But, uh, Fury Attack is fun, so we're gonna do that. And, uh, probably for the rest of this stream, we're just gonna kind of explore the world. Now that our... Now that the world is kind of scaled similarly to the levels our Pokémon are at, I think that's gonna be kind of interesting. And not use Fly as much. I genuinely think the best way to play Crystal Clear is to limit your use of Fly. Because a lot of things that we haven't seen yet, there's this new tool called the Fast Fairy that allows you to traverse really quickly between Johto and Kanto, as well as the Magnet Train and all that stuff. And you just kind of don't have to do that when you have Fly. It's really cool once, but I definitely think the better way to go about playing this game is with Fly. Future Sight, if Learn Move in Future, I can teach it early. Need a Silver Leaf. Being hard to find. Yes. Teach Muma Mima. Let's learn Mega Horn. Instead of level 54, we're gonna have it forever. I need to look up which Pokemon hold the Silver Leaf. And I'm not just going to... It's listed in the documentation, but it's somewhere in one of the change logs, and there's a lot of change logs for this game, so I'm gonna have to do some digging. But hey, now we've got a Bug-type move for our Bug-type Pokemon. That doesn't happen very often in uh, anything prior to Gen 5. Well, that's cool. Got a pretty fun team here. I'm very excited to see uh, how things pan out. There's still two more slots, but uh, I'm going to keep it at four unless uh, somebody subs to add a Pokemon to the team just so we can keep our HM users on it. All right. What would be fun? We spent a lot of our time in Johto, so uh, let's explore Kanto a bit. And uh, what I might actually do is I'm going to head over to... Azalea Town and buy some, um, I'm not gonna buy level balls, I'm just gonna buy Ultra Balls, because Pokemon may not be above our level, but I'm gonna try to catch some Pokemon as well, uh, because one of my goals is to get all 251 Pokemon, um, before we move on to a different game, so, let's see, 20 is probably good, so we don't have to catch anything later, uh, if we buy the stuff now. I'm also going to go to the Mart and buy some Super Repels. Which is a bit counterproductive to catching Pokemon, but if we're on a water route, then... That'll be nice. That. Um, I'll go ahead and buy... Actually, if I'm gonna buy a Super Potion, I should just head to a department store and buy some lemonade. I'm gonna do that, but, uh, we'll go around Kanto, because I think that Kanto has more new areas. The flat screen in the living room? Let's go, dude. Crystal Clear is gonna be so blown up on the flat screen. <laughs> gonna be counting them pixels. Uh, I didn't want to go here. I wanted to go to Celadon.
Living room acquired. Let's go. What is Niv talking about? Um. Ooh, another thing I want to do before we end the stream today is I think deck out our house a little bit. Because we can, uh, now that we have the ability to grind money. Um. Yes, this is actually where I want to be. Time to buy some lemonade. I don't think freebies are a thing in Gen 2. These are just cheaper and better than super potions, so I might as well use them. We'll get like 10 of them. Or whatever I think is 10. That's probably right. Vending machine with a prize roulette. What? Wait, so freebies maybe are a thing. What? <laughs> what does he mean? All right, let me reorganize the bag here a bit. I care more about money than I do about experience and since I've talked about how we can, uh, refight gym leaders all the time. Uh, yeah, experience isn't really gonna be a problem, especially with this lucky egg. Uh, we'll keep the super potions just in case. Alright, let's go exploring. I'm excited. Uh, why don't we just start here? Let's, uh, head this way, maybe? we encounter and catch it. Uh, level 8. I don't think there's... I'll just try Thunder Waving it using a level ball? Uh, because we will get the time... What? Fled? Pokemon can do that? <laughs> You'll end up in Fuchsia City. There are faster ways to get your destination choice. Oh! I did get Fly. I think, um, you can also get fly from that house as well. Are we already... Well, we don't own a snubble. I traded the snubble away for... a, um... I traded away for the swine up that we have. Uh, I'm actually gonna use the level ball here, because it's times four effect of this. Never mind. If Snubble uses Charm and it works, I'll uh, try to hit it with a try attack. Because we'll probably survive that. I have pretty low attack. If we need it. Ah. I think what I might do is go teach Heracross all swipe. Well, I'm not going to have it out in the front. Uh, it'd probably be good to have, though. Just try a try attack. If it dies, it dies. Or sorry, faint. We're we're double the level. I don't couldn't see it happening any other way. And in case there's a Pokemon I want to catch, uh, just having this, we can always reteach Fury Attack at a modification station. So Go to the Battle Tutor, I'll swipe. Fury attack. I have to be very careful to not accidentally um, delete Megahorn because we will have to give the guy another silver leaf to reteach it. So, gotta be careful with that. But I'm really happy the future tutor exists. Yo, what up, Zen? Welcome back. Ooh, what does this guy say? Rhyme Ribbon appearing lately. Oh, this is just kind of like, uh, Gen 1. You can find Grimer and Muck by fishing, I believe. Let's actually go in some of these houses. What am I... What am I doing? Oh, I think this is the residency. Yeah, this is the residency in Celadon. That's cool. Oh, let's head out this way. Hope that Eevee's doing okay. 
Oh yeah, that's right. If you start here, hey, well, it's still light outside. Oh, whatever. Uh, you're able to grab the gift Eevee uh, from here as well as Bill. Uh, it counts as the same gift Eevee. So since our Vaporeon is that gift Eevee, we will not be uh, getting it there. I still can't believe I've been playing with the run speed for so long that I can't believe this is the normal walk speed. It feels so wrong. Nice. Hold on, Mansion has a hidden back door. I am a professional. I already knew that. Hey, Clefairy, we have a cooler Clefairy. You know what? The Chonk probably needs to lose some weight, so let's get oven out. <laughs> so chonky. Someone was in the middle of composing an email. I hope you'll come visit Kanto. Things have changed here. The producer? Huh. Game Freak meeting room. Ah, oh, that makes sense. I guess that's where Game Freak is in, uh... Want to change the print intensity? Oh yeah, you can take pictures and shit, right? Oh no, Game Freak's still here. Don't give up. You drew me? No, you didn't. Lima did. Wait a minute, is this Lima? Lima, do you wear glasses? I guess uh, you could do the glasses that way if you really wanted to. Like how that spray has it. Hey, hey, I have zero anything. Oh. Secretly a Game Freak employee? That'd be wild. I would love to have like an interview with a Game Freak employee and talk about like the Pokemon creation development process. That'd be so interesting. Oh, nice. Thanks for giving me a coin. Oh, also, interesting thing. You can play Voltorb Flip in this game. I will not be playing Voltorb Flip. I don't remember how to leave. I guess I can just lose. That works. How do I leave? I think I hold B? Oh, God. I don't remember how to leave Voltorb Flip. Oh, I press start. Okay. I can talk about freely? Yeah. Uh, you can play the regular slots as well. It's just, I think all the, um... I think all the right slots, or the ones that are facing right are Voltorb Flip, and the ones facing left are regular slot machines. Hey, underneath this poster, there's nothing! Alright, let's check under this poster. Underneath this poster. Whoa! There's. Wait, is the rocket hideout? But. What is this? Uh, if this becomes a short, I'm playing a ROM hack called Pokemon Crystal Clear. What is this? Ah! He's a trainer! I guess Team Rocket was disbanded, but okay. Ooh, he's a fast boy. He can't even one-shot a Rattata? Huh? Come on, Oven. Get your act together. I wonder if maybe just using a special attack there would have been better. I'm still very interested in that Heracross can learn Rain Dance. That could maybe be cool to set up, uh... Oven for thunder. Uh, this might be... Death. Yep. That's level 21 coffin, not surprised. Hmm, we 
don't have a good answer for you. Poison types are still an issue. I would say maybe like Heracross could learn Earthquake. I don't think it can. I'll have to look that up. I don't think Clefable could learn Psychic. Maybe it can. That'd be a way to deal with it. There are very few... Well, there's Ekans and Arbok. Coughing, Wheezing, Grimer, Muck. Now, there's actually a decent amount of pure poison. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be able to sneak a ground move on a team member at some point. I can always add two team members as well. I just don't want to for a good chunk of the game, so it's easy to traverse the world. I wonder if this is the only rocket fight, and I wonder if we unlock the Team Rocket music from fighting this guy. That'd be cool, because I love the rocket music in Gen 2. It's got a lot of Pokemon. Surf on Vaporeon continues to annihilate everything. It's beautiful. Jada. Please don't tell anyone I'm here. Team Rocket's gonna return. Any day now, that phone's gonna ring, and I'm gonna be here. Sleeping bag looks like someone is living here. It's a phone. No one picked up the phone. Huh? The line is disconnected! Oh, you poor soul. Some drinks on the table. Smell is strong. Oh my god! This dude's drinking himself in the corner. Holy shit! That's insane. What a cool secret where the old uh, rocket hideout is. What? What? I'm open to ideas. I just don't want to eat too much. Okay. Oh, that was, that was a cool little detour. Can you wait a half hour to talk to me? So I can finish streaming, perhaps? What are you doing? I wish you guys could see this. I don't know what the fuck Haley's doing right now. We shook on it. We feel that we shook on it. That's what we did. Yo, we got the leftovers. Leftovers is huge. Uh, I definitely want the leftovers over King's Rock. I think it's actually advantageous to put the leftovers on, like, every single Pokemon in this game, because the other held items aren't that great. We'll talk about it after I'm done streaming. <laughs> Is steak about to be fire? Let's go, dude. Are you putting any- did you put any, like, marinade or, or rubbing on it? Or are you just having it straight up? All right, let's go to the cycling road. I can't remember if I've been to the cycling road or not in Crystal Clear. Curious to see what there is. Yo, we got our helmet. Salt and pepper is all a good piece of meat needs. I would disagree. And here's my thing. A steak can, you can have a good steak. If the steak is good, you don't need a good marinade. If the steak is bad, it can be salvaged and still taste good with a good marinade. But a good steak with a good marinade? Like, that's... That's it. 
That's the... That's the dream. Oh, that's only a night time. Whatever. So yeah, you don't need it, but... Yo, what is this? A biker? Oh, I'm still on my bike! Let's go! You have a ladybug for your smoochum? That'll be good to keep in mind in case I can't find it. Oh my god, they're legit cockfighting in here. Use the clamp. Mercy Buttercup, it's payday time! Is there a grandma in here? It wouldn't hurt a caterpie? Oh, that's good to know. Get a real bike like mine? What do you mean, baby toy? My bike's awesome. can we buy? Oh, we can buy uh, all the stuff here, so I guess I didn't need to sit there in front of the vending machine, because, yeah. He's ordering the same piece, says his Pokemon keep destroying it during battle. The money's good, I don't care. Statues of swine, um, interesting. And a Rattata that I can't talk to. Okay, I did notice there's a cut tree behind this building. Uh, we already have a Spearow, so we don't need this. Do, do, do. Is this just like a secret entrance? Hey, a rare candy. I'll take it. I thought the cycling road automatically pushed you down. I guess it doesn't here? Oh, okay, it does when you enter Route 17. Is cycling road even in regular Gen 2? Or did they cut it? We. Well, I wanted to fight some trainers, but oh well. Oh, I forgot to look up. Can Heracross learn Earthquake? Um... Oh, we can! That might be our fourth move. Uh, over Fury Cutter. Pokemon's going good, man. Got a fourth team member, and now we're just kind of exploring the world now that the world is kind of caught up to us in terms of levels. It's not as much of a... <laughs> complete destruction fest. Dude. I mean, like, shouldn't flamethrower be super effective on coughing? Like, come on. <laughs> It'd be so good if it was. Should have bought some full heals. I think we could have bought uh, full heals from the department store. But a nice thing about Gen 2 is that if you KO the Pokemon, you don't take the poison damage. So we get to avoid it for just a little bit here. See, that, that's the weird thing. Like, I guess if base Pokemon were like this, where Pokemon were, like, on the same... Like, on the same caliber as you, or, like, scaled with you based on gym badges and stuff, the experience yield would probably have to be toned down quite a bit. And that seems like a lot of work. <laughs> to change the experience yield of, like, over a thousand Pokemon at this point. Well, at least I can't get burned here, and I do have good special defense. That did a lot of damage. Magmar would have been a really fun pick uh, for the team. We could still, like, a fire type isn't necessary because we've got Flamethrower on Oven here, but... I, I don't think I've ever used a Magmar before. I actually have used an Electabuzz. In fact, I've used Electabuzz in the Nostalgia Trip Fire Red playthrough that you can still find on my second channel. Ugh. <laughs> uh. That's amazing. I can't remember my composition for that. I think I used a full team of six. Because I had Ivysaur. I think I used, like, Ivysaur, Arcanine, Electabuzz, and then probably, like, Pidgeot. Something. Something like that. I should go look and see what the final team was. No! Oven! Rip. Get him, Bulby. Unfortunately, both of your moves aren't very good against it, but it's fine. 
Okay, maybe it's not fine. Try pedal dance. Thankfully, we can't get poisoned because we're also poison type. Always thought was a cool thing about um, the Bulbasaur line. I'm just shocked they like never did that again. Where it's like there's a starter that's clearly the easy choice, the medium choice, and the hard choice. Like they only did that for Gen One. Like, sure, there are some starters that are, like, easier, but I don't think it's, like, intended to be that way. I mean, maybe the Johto starters are intended to be like that? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna put, uh, Channel Sonic out front here. We skipped a lot of trainers on the left side, I think. But that's okay, they're all poison types, which we can't really do anything about. And when we can do something about it, it's gonna be with Heracross, who we don't need to train up right now, so... <laughs> well, what I definitely like, because... Crystal Clear is open world, that... Because you don't have to go on the routes, especially since you get fly, it's still cool to go on it, like... If I never went on Cycling Road, I wouldn't have seen, like, the cool Biker Gang Club. And I'm sure there's some secret or Easter egg associated with it, too, because that's just how this game is. Just that cool. Ooh, Charmeleon! Man, do I have bad news for you, buddy. Okay. Smokescreen's gonna be smokescreen. Biker Charles. Uh, not a heartbreaker, but he's something. Okay. Go ahead and get Bulby out now that we're past all the poison types. Okay, hello? Cycling Road is beyond here. I know, that's where I just was. Anybody hanging out up here? What if I look into... There are people swimming. Oh, cool. Birthdays in two months, let's go, bro. I'm pretty sure you're already on the calendar, too, so we got you covered there. Let's go ahead and heal up, and then I'm gonna go back and fight those trainers down there. Oh, the quick nurse is so nice. I appreciate it so much. You know, I didn't even think to look if the nurses have different, um... sprites in different cities. That'd be kind of cool. Let's go ahead. We haven't had Channel of Sonic as a follower for a while, so let's go ahead and have him follow us around here. I bought better have a command. Uh, I don't think you have that much power, pal. <laughs> okay, well that is not what I really wanted to see, but I think we'll be okay. Hey, maybe we won't be okay. See how much Sludge Bomb does. Well, that was certainly not what I wanted to see. Gonna try to go to sleep. I think Sleep Powder has 75% accuracy. If the AI uses it, it's only 50% accuracy because in Gen 2, they threw you a bone. And, um... When enemy use the enemy uses status moves, uh, it's 25% less likely to hit. Just funny. And rebirth came out earlier. Stinky cheese. Oh my. I'm curious. I think I heard something about this. Ampharos. That's super dope. Cargo, too? Oh, that's interesting. I guess it is near Cinnabar Island. That's neat. 
I remember, I think I saw it in, um, in Cosmic's 100% speedrun that Shock Slayer wanted to make this patch of grass particularly interesting because it's pretty uninspired otherwise, so, um, having it have interesting Pokemon there I think is pretty cool. Oh, she's quaking in her boots. Well, see, I might end after this route. Because, uh, Haley's getting restless. Hey, what's up, Nalen? How you doing? Well, thankfully we got Oven. The Chonk. Oh, I thought I just used Tri Attack. Tri Attack's a cool move for a normal type Pokemon. I think it's special in Gen 4 and beyond. But I'm glad uh, the Battle Tutor. Makes a lot of other Pokemon have it other than Magneton, because Magneton can't use it worth shit. <laughs> yeah, she's a bit restless there. I think completing this route will be a good stopping point. I mean, we did a whole lot of shit today. So. I feel like anything else that I do right now would be kind of just like... filling in time and stuff. I do want to look to see what Pokemon hold the Silver Leaf as well uh, for tomorrow. A stealth shit ton, exactly. Exactly. Alright, heal up at the Pokemon Center, and I think that is going to be it for me today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this day of Pokemon Crystal Clear. Nailed the cook on this steak? Let's go, dude. Always feels good when that happens. Dude, I've been streaming for three and hours and four, almost four hours. Oh my gosh. No, oh, and Niv got banned? Oh no. Poor guy. And Niv banned at the end. It's too bad. It's too bad. I hope you guys enjoyed this rendition of, uh, or not rendition, but this episode of Crystal Clear. Again, sh huge shout outs to Lima Green for making the custom sprite. A 21st four hour stream? What do you mean? What do you mean? Oh my god. Anyway, I need to get the hell out of here. Um, I really appreciate all the people that stuck around. I know it's not Sonic PO6, but I I really appreciate it. Like very much, genuinely appreciate all the all the VOD watchers and all of you guys that hang out here uh, with me, whether you're in chat or whether you're lurking, um, playing just fun stuff that's not Sonic. <laughs> I was always really worried to do it, but uh, I'm feeling I'm feeling a lot better now. Now that I've done it a lot, especially with the 24-hour stream, I feel like that was really important to make me not nervous when it came to expanding what type of content I do. Don't forget to check out the second channel as well because I did a video on Overrider, which is a Sonic-inspired roguelike game that's super cool. So if you weren't here for the stream for that, you can check it out uh, on the second channel. And uh, the Omega video is coming for the main channel. Uh, Omega video will be out when Chaos is able to get around to making the render for it. So hopefully it's this week, but we shall see. Regardless, thank you guys so much for being here once again, and thank you for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day. I will see you in the next one, and take care. Peace!